to get like a preset for this hello what's up everyone or do sex this time finally but with rules Ugh. so we're doing doom sex with rules this time uh which means you win three fights and then you get the fuck out of here gibbs hello my man hello everyone <laughs> At okay, uh, one man doomstacks allowed. Um, no, you can't make a one man doomstack in a multiplayer setting, man. That is not a thing. The fuck are you talking about? Think about it. You have no way of buffing up your guy unless you're an, if you're a multiplayer. I mean, okay, if you think you can win with one dude, by all means. But you're supposed to be taking a stack, a doomstack, a full army. A poppin' fresh group of dudes. You need 19. I mean, I, I guess that it's... I don't know. If you want to take one guy, then go for it. We'll see how it goes. That's the wrong thing. Alright, so. Lobby is Okoy Noomstack 1v1. Password is Ogre. I need to remember to host the game of Spectator for this time. A stack of doom, if you will. Exactly. So I found out what Doomstack, where the like the name Doomstack came from too, which is interesting. It actually comes from uh, games that allow you to stack multiple of a unit, and a lot of people attribute it to like the original um, Civilization, so like Civ 2 or Civ 3, whatever, uh, whichever one was like the most popular in, in multiplayer, right? Because people would would stack all their guys onto one tile on the map, so it became known as Doomstacking, like. Because, like, you're doomed if everything's in, in one stack, right? So that's apparently where it comes from. That and, like, I guess Might and Mag Might, Ma Might Magic, Magic and Might, whatever that game's called. Man, that was that was such a good game back in the day. I played the fuck out of my Magic 3. Heroes of Might Magic 3, that was it. Oh, we got two people already. Mega Knight and Clordix. Popping it off. Alright, tell you what. Let me, let me make sure I get this set up. So we need custom funds. 69, 69, 69. That should be more than enough. Unit scale. Oh, oh, this is all fine. No large armies, no unit caps, no, no nothing. Unit caps would defeat the entire purpose of this. So we're good. Howdy. Hello. Mm, a hard lance is fine. 
So, before we... A couple of other things. I'm going to check people's shit before we actually start the game. So, before we jump in to the actual session, I'll check their armies to make sure nobody's taking anything too crispy, too sweaty. You know? We're going to stay in the realms of, I think, fun armies. I know that's kind of subjective, because a lot of people are going to say... Adokoi, no sweaty doomstacks, but what about greasy doomstacks? I don't give... Like, I mean... Anything, I mean, anything's fine. Just don't take a full army of, you know, Necrofex Colossus, for example. Because that would be really sweaty. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Adokoi, you are an expert on this game, and I want to... I am not an expert on this game, but... What is the strongest range unit to doomstack you can make in the entire game? My guess is between Shades or Sisters of Avalon. Actually... I would argue that Thorax Quarreler's Doomstack is stronger at range. I'm trying to think of... Also, 19 Iron Blasters was pretty goddamn strong at range. I'm trying to think of all the range Doomstacks that I've done, because there's not actually been that many. But they're very fun when I do do them. That's actually a really good question. Yeah, I don't know. Lead Belchers were decent. But yeah, probably 19 Quarrelers. Just because he can get their weapon strength to be so stupidly high. Like, they, they have a weapon strength of, like, 30, right? Once you get all of his buffs, you can have a weapon, a, a, a missile strength of over 300. Like, Corollas are fucking stupid. <laughs> They're so busted with Thoric, it's, like, insane. Ogre Iron Blaster. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Adokroi, as you are an expert on this game, which ogre unit is the best to kiss? Hmm. Not Gorgers. I'd say probably bulls, you know? No shirt, very kissable, soft lips. Anyway, let's look at Mega Knight. So we're gonna... <laughs> a Night Goblin Squig Hopper Army versus a Miners with Blasting Charges Army. Okay, this is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Wait, okay, this could be... What a matchup, too. Greenskins versus Dwarfs. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give... I'm gonna get a nice... We got... Can we get anything, um... Greenskin related? Uh... Ogre something. I want something appropriate map wise for this. Now you know what they're gonna have to re ready up. I don't want to put them through that. All right, let's go. Good actual good opening armies. Not something stupid. Nothing nothing um nothing too spicy. A good uh I mean very green skinny army versus a very dwarf army. Okoy is a smelly little guy. I am. I, I take offense to that, sir. I'm a medium-sized smelly guy. Roasted goblins, dude. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the uh, the night goblin squid hoppers are gonna carry this away. It's not even. I mean, really, the night goblin squid hoppers are gonna win this. Is that maybe okay? The lack of armor piercing, fine. But they're miners. They, they're like 80 armor. Unless you could get the the miners with blasting charges into a formation where they can like get all of their explosives into them the, the other those little guys they're not gonna do much but you know maybe we'll be surprised who knows miners <laughs> not that kind of miners dude this is the most one-sided battle i've ever seen i mean i think it's gonna be close to the people think you're underestimating nope never mind miners are terrible wow i really thought miners had better stats 27 24 80 armor 39 missile strength though, that's the thing. It's all about the blasting charges, and they have 39 missile strength through those those some bitches. Also, the explosive damage will be great against squigs. Let's see what these guys do though. It really depends about positioning too. If he layers his shit in like a nice little tight checkerboard formation, he might actually have a chance of, of uh, taking out these squig hoppers, but there's just so many squigs. There's no way. They're anti-infantry, they've got better melee stats. Higher weapon strength. I mean, just like all... They're just... It's, it's, he's gonna lose, man. You'll love to see it, though. It could have been a counter. I mean, you never know what they're gonna pick. He could have... What if he, if he went with, like, a full army of... I don't know. Or, orc biggins? He probably would have lost. That would have been real slow. Okay, why you think miners would have good stats? All right. Okay, let's get off the miners topic here. We're talking about miners like a dirty man... It, it reminds me of that Louis C.K. joke where he's like, all right, all right. like he's talking about like old people or whatever, and they uh, they fucked a miner, and he's like, <laughs> like, I do, <laughs> no, I mean a miner, a guy who works at a mine with dirty hands jacked him off at a. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, good damage. This is what I'm talking about. 
surprising amounts of d dude holy shit some of these guys got brought to like half hp god damn does that mean a tight formation oh my god guys enough with the minor jokes man dude they're actually routing in the middle look at this damn dude oh my god the damage i know the blasting charges are stronger than people think Blasting charges are fucking slept on. I did a minor on my minor doom stack. I uh, I tried miners without blasting charges. I'm miners with, and with blasting charges is so infinitely better in every conceivable way. Also, miners are kind of tanky too. They do be kind of tanky though. 80 armor. I mean, and 24 melee defense, which isn't completely useless. I'm telling you, people could be surprised. Doomstack miners, blasting miners. Guys, stop, man. I'm gonna go arrested. This stream here, officer. God damn. This is okay. So, pretty even so far. It looks like they're uh, obviously that Night Goblet and School Coppers are winning in the flanks here. Chewing them up bit by bit. Also, the blasting charge guys are gonna run out of blasting charges eventually. And a lot of them have. Ooh, but getting some of these flank shots in. A little bit of micro here and there. I, okay, this is obviously a lot closer than anybody thought it was going to be. I thought the miners <laughs> were gonna get demolished. Stop with the fucking minor chokes, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wow, this was a good one. Yeah, I mean, I love the close fights. You'd be surprised how many of these fights are gonna be close. Like, obviously some of them are super one-sided and you can tell who's gonna win eventually, but I think they're closer than I always think they're going to be. You think like, oh, they're not even gonna take a fucking scratch. Dude, okay, and the wog is popped. Yeah, increasing their armor piercing damage too. Oh, I think that was that. I just think that just like. Oh, also they've got poison, right? Duh. Which is gonna make them even more weak. Oh, the goblin got. The, okay, they, I just realized they have Belagar though. No joke, Belagar might be strong enough to solo their entire goddamn army. He is no fucking joke. Belagar is extremely tanky. Okay, with poison, his melee defense, it leaves to something to be wanted. But 531 weapon strength, 120 armor, and a silver shielded. Like, he is a tank. Bruh, this is weird. I can't believe how close this is. Green skins are winning in, in terms of balance of power, obviously. The thing is that the goblins have the wog and miners get weaker lol. Very true, very true. It's coming down to it. They've got to chew through Belagar's big old little dwarf skin. He's got revenge Akane too. Seven hundred. Oh my god. 108 weapon strength and 700. Uh, 108 melee attack and 705 weapon strength. Belagar is no joke. Like, especially melee for, for like damage wise for a dwarf lord. He's a tanky little guy. That I'm gonna keep it real. This guy picked his doomstack entirely so these jokes got made. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh shit, the wraparound! Wait, I, I don't see him. There he is! <laughs> this little grumpy beard sticking out the crowd. That's pretty much it. There's no way. Okay, well, they're coming back a little bit in the flanks, but surely Belagar's leadership will give out before the Greenskins do. He's so fucking tanky, though, man. Seriously. Adokoi music. Oh, what the fuck happened to the music? Wait. What? I had the music up, and what happened? Did I close it down? Oh wait, we have a winner. Ah, and the Greenskins won. By by a fucking hair. 12 k value. Dude, but some of the those initial explosive volleys. Actually goddamn close. Pyrrhic victory, and look at the casualties. 
across the board a coin moment i don't know what happened maybe it crashed actually you know what the music could have crashed So that means that uh, Mega Knight is going to be staying on with his Night Goblin Squig Hoppers. Let's see if Old Man Larry here can, can counter pick him. We're going to randomize the map again. Oakheart Forest Wood Elf. Oh, man. For is a forest going to help him? Oh, it's not really a forest. This is what I mean. Okay, Wood Elf Forest. Does this look like a forest to you? This is like a... <laughs> what the fuck happened with my voice? <laughs> oh, fuck. Is this okay? I'm sick of this map trend of like little circles of trees around a map. I feel like it's like at least 50% of land battles are just little circles of trees fucking everywhere. Grey Relic, Relicary Army Time. Judy, he is taking Bretonia. There's no way he's gonna drop in and throw immediately. There's just no way. Tree acne? Yeah, exactly. If you don't know what is happening, it means that the brain is set on load. What? Oh, we switched to Warriors of Chaos. Okay, well, all right. Fair enough. A little bit of a sweatier army composition. There's no way he's taking anything weak with Warriors of Chaos. Is that the tree acne? Is that like the, the term for this in the community now? Okay, they put trees down like a uh, Bob Ross painting. What they do is they get into the map creator and they get the tree dropper tool and it's like a circle tool for dropping trees and they just go trees, 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 rocks, borders, done. Like that, and that's like it. That's what it was like. That's every map creator that I've ever worked, like used in any video game. You know, there was always like a map editor in a lot of old RPGs and stuff. Like I would always make maps and just for fucking around and then never do anything with them. Yeah, it's literally a circle brush tool. It's so painfully lazy. Exactly, exactly. Like how hard is it to make like somewhat realistic looking tree lines? Like you just do them in weird shapes and natural like stuff around roads and shit. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem that hard to me. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. A blood lettuce of corn dew stack versus an anti-infantry. <laughs> well, he's missing one of them. He's got almost all blood letters of corn. Interesting, interesting picks. Not sweaty, but not weak also. An anti-infantry doom stack versus an anti-infantry cav stack. Demons versus little green men. And for some reason, for some, I guess, spicy Chad move, he's going for 18 units instead of 19. I don't know if old man Larry knows that. Maybe it's just a flex taking the one less unit for balance purposes. Let's see how this goes. Fuck it. Can the green skins overcome uh, come all over the green? Uh, okay, that got away from me. Okay, no chevrons on bloods. Oh shit, he didn't put chevrons on. Oh man, okay. Larry has fumbled the bag. I need to fumble the bag like fucking emote. <laughs> we need to fumble the bag like technical difficulty screen like this. With like you know what I mean? L. L's. L's for my boy. There's no fucking way a full army. Dude, he couldn't have picked a worse thing to counter cam with. This dude took a full anti infantry infantry doom stack of upgraded blood letters to fight a full army of anti infantry cav. <laughs> oh man, Larry. Old man Larry wasn't watching the last 10 minutes of stream. Damn. Damn, Larry. Did you hit randomize or did you just like panic and pick the close like the nearest thing? Also, I wait, wait did you pick corn? The sneaky gobo dooms tack the best yes yes smile. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Oh, dono from Newt. Newt, my boy. Thank you for the dono, my guy. Wog, the sneaky gobo dooms tack the best yes yes. Yes yes, that feels a little bit scathing y there, dude. A little bit of traitor green skin bullshit going on there. Thank you for the dono, my dude. Greenskin is definitely my top three factions, though. Ogre Kingdom, Skaven, and Greenskins, for sure. Goblin Doomstack. At Okoy, petition to ban any army that isn't made out of squig units. Um, I'm gonna take your petition into account and immediately reject it. No. Eat shit. I wanna see good variations on this stream, man. If we went with only- Actually, there's actually- There's a decent amount of squig units. Also, I don't know why they, they never added in the Goliath Squig or whatever it's called. 
Dude, I, this is just gonna be a fucking slaughter. Like, blood letters are solid, but there's no fucking way they're gonna win. <laughs> there's no way they're gonna win this fight. Like, squid hoppers are solid. They're really solid. And then, what is he doing? <laughs> Mega Knight. Hello from Russia. Hello, Russia. Uh, let's, uh... Hopefully we get some, uh... Russia rep with some Kislev players in at some point. I'm trying to remember if anybody actually played Kislev at any point during the last stream. I can't think of, think of a single time anybody played Kislev. Because, like, what do you take? I, I know that somebody was going to take a Snow Leopard Doomstag, and that's good because that's super mid tier and very counterable. You take any any amount of anti lodge and those things are fucked. Anti lodge infantry is actually the counter. Bro, the bears. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody did bears. Yeah, you're right. That was like one of the first armies too, and they like absolutely clean house because they're strong as fuck. Bear cavalry. That was it. Larry using the terrain. Oh, get in the trees, dude. This is cinematic as fuck. Oh my god, my FPS. That's why I have all of that shit turned off. Go, my goblins! Go! <laughs> Hippity hoppity into the trees. Oh, okay, looks like he's done a full commit on one of the flanks, which is a questionable idea. Although not a particularly bad one. No, 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 spells, no spells! Oh my god. Okay, well, that's the spear slop near. I guess that's okay. But no spells. That's actually something we should add to the rules, because you can carry an entire battle with spells. Oh wait, but there were spells last time. No, I guess spells are okay. I mean, technically Taco did manipulate spells in order to win a couple of fights. What do you guys think? Should we allow spells or no spells? I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of having a doom stack, you know? Because you could just take, like, fucking Bellacore with a bunch of magic and, like, five units and then win, like, loads of fights. Mega Knight casted two earlier. No spells. Only buffs. Spells cringe. No spells. I feel like... No... No big damn... Oh my god, look at the blood letters. Oh my god! Dude, this is why blood letters and demon units suck dick. Because they die so fucking quickly. As soon as the leadership starts going, they're gone. Look. Deleted, deleted. You can literally see them just deleting themselves from the middle of the formation. They're not even in combat and they're just they're just routing. This is why I always take Marauders of Corn now and Marauders of Siege and Marauders of Slash over almost all demon units except for blue horrors and pink horrors. Innate magic only. Yeah, only bound spells. Yes, okay, good. Smart. Good idea, guys. Good idea. I'm glad you I'm glad I didn't think of it. All right, I'll put that in the description too. No spells, except for bound spells. That, that's two. Just that's okay. No spells for bound stuff. I had chicken strips right. with sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Hello, brother. Oka e B T W. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Dude, I love that TTS does it at different speeds. It really uh, sounds like he's trying to pull off, uh, pull off a natural conversation. That, what an adorable dono. Thank you, Blue Dog, for the $10 dono. I hope your chicken strips were good, man. The last time I got, I ate chicken strips, I had diarrhea so bad I thought I was going to break the toilet. I don't know why I just told you that. All right, thank you for the dono. <laughs> Go, my squiggies! Dude, the charge for squigs is so satisfying. This is what he should have been doing the entire time, though. It's like, he's gonna win. Like, they, I'm sorry, but just like, they're not good enough. <laughs> he didn't put gold shit runs on his units. He fumbled the bag. That being said, the Night Goblins don't actually have that many kills. So I I think they're winning on sheer force of route, like, ruining the Blood Letters' leadership and watching them crumble. Tendies. Dude, I love Tendies. I, lo I love that the whole community of, like, the human race in, in I guess, like, in English-speaking countries went, they aren't chicken tenders anymore. They're chicken Tendies. It's such an adorable little name. 
Oh god, have you done Chaos Warrior Doomstack with all the armor buffs you can get? Chaos Warrior Doomstack? Give me just like regular Chaos Warriors? No, I haven't done that. Why, can you make them really strong? I tend to avoid infantry Doomstacks unless it's something like really weak, like Skaven Slaves or Zombies. But uh, I'd be willing to do that. Damn, what buff, what spell is that? Tormentor Sword. Yeah, that's an item. Items are fine. A little bit of smart itemization, I have no problem with. Spite of the bad moon. Okay, that's a spell! That's a spell! This is an absolute grind. Wait, why are they just standing there? Oh, CA, with your AI. Sounds like a skill assault. Just it's just a handle the strips from the winged creatures that lay eggs and pork for. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> what the fuck? What are these blue dogs? What are these donuts, my guy? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the donut, my dude. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I, I was watching um, a podcast. I was watching Shane Gillis. Um, uh, and I found out that uh, he plays Warhammer. He play he likes Warhammer Total War. Like he's literally, he's played it and there's like a, a clip of his I was gonna use in a video at some point If anybody doesn't know who Shane Gillis is fucking hilarious comedian But like he just play, he just randomly mentioned that he plays Total War Like Warhammer Total War and he plays the vampire counts Kind of a colliding of worlds dude this is the, the lack of animations is actually crazy. I wonder what causes this. Just like a target issue, the, the the volume of units. This is actually getting very close. This is getting really weirdly close. You would have thought the uh, Squid Compass would have won by now. But I think that hiding in the trees, pretty big brain, brain strat uh, from, from old man Larry. Old man's got some tricks up his, street, uh, up his sleeve. Can't teach an old Larry new tricks, but uh, like putting chevrons on your units. But there you go. Yo, have you ever seen the sketches on Gillian Key's Mad Funny? Yeah, 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 dude. I mean, it's the same channel where he uploaded his like his like 45 minute special, like, but it has like almost 10 million views. Like, it's huge, and it's fucking funny. Yeah, here we go. Yep, unstable, unstable, and also Valkyr is a demon, a demonette, right? Wait, is Zaki a human or a demon? Oh, she's like a human. But she can become a demon if you go through her skill tree. Yep. This is what I'm telling you. This is why demon units are just not good. And they need to be adjusted a little bit. I feel like they crumbled too fast. Am I alone in that? It's almost always better to take like infantry instead of demon units, I feel like. I don't go. I basically curse warriors get plus 10 or something armor for every iron mine you have. I've done runs with like 200 plus armor on Chaos Warriors by stacking Iron Mines. Yeah, but like Iron Armor caps out at like 180 and uh, for the amount of damage reduction that it gives you. So once you get to like 180 ish, it's like point and another victory for the Greenskins. God damn. I mean, we knew it was coming. There's no way. And uh, like if these Bloodlines of Corn had triple gold chevrons, they might have won. They, they straight up might have won that fight. Like the increased leadership would have kept them from breaking squigs two out two two nothing to the squigs exactly god damn the old man larry thank you for joining we get somebody else in to, uh, to see if they can tear down this green skin stack I, which i cannot believe is almost on a three fight tear which means mega knight if he wins this next fight is gonna carry away a triple victory and a a front runner army we're gonna have to like i don't know maybe write them down and then have all of the best armies fight it out later down the line. Adokoi, if he upgraded his units, he would have won. Yeah, I know. If he clumped up like that, like, you gotta be psycho charging the squig hoppers constantly. I almost had that one, Adokoi. You did, you did. You actually fought back pretty hard. That was pretty impressive. How many Okoi moments have we had today then? Uh, none. I haven't fucked up yet, dude. Wait, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm like perfect dude. I never fuck up. What are you talking about? Is this EU only? No, I don't go fuck join. I don't that doesn't matter Unless you're in like Australia if you're in the Australia 
because then if you're in Oceania servers, you know, like Japan, the Philippines, like Asia or uh, Australia, I, maybe that's too far and maybe that'll cause some lag. But if you're in like, I don't know, the fucking East Coast, West Coast, doesn't matter. Europe. All right. So looks like we're going to have Scave and Challenging the Greenskins, a classic matchup. And it's going to be. <laughs> oh, wow. The Warp Grinder Doom stack with Quick Head Taker. What a pick. Holy shit. Major Whiff bringing in the interesting stacks today. God damn. Warp Grinders of all things. Armor piercing, like super high weapon strength, small unit size, and they got the AoEs. But here's the thing. Do the AoEs stack? Because if you use the... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Based alert. My thoughts exactly. Major Whiff bringing in the absolute wacky stacks. Dude, this was a fucking super fun army, by the way. Like, I, I did 19 Warp Grinders. And my biggest regret with that army is I didn't film them taking down an entire wall at the same time. Because that would have been amazing. Put one of them on each segment of a wall, an entire walled settlement, and then watch all the walls crumble down at the same time. Just didn't do it. I don't know why. I could have, like, set them all up perfectly, paused the game, targeted each individual section of the wall, and just watched the whole walls crumble. And I didn't do it. I don't know why. It's like a no-brainer. They're, like, good against walls. Adokoi, ready up, you clown. Yeah, shut up, dude. Adokoi, don't need to stack if you stagger them. That's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, if you keep these guys in like a little bit of a loose formation, but kind of tight, you could just spam their abilities out over and over again. Like do a rotation and it'll constantly keep the enemy pinned and then you just cycle the damage in. That's what I was doing anyway. It worked great. Adokoi, will there be some 2v2s? Maybe. The problem is last time the internet side of it got like just the shitty net code started to kind of like cave in a little bit and we had some like some insane lag that's the main reason i'm not doing 2v2s we'll stick to 1v1s for now i think they're good you still can man doom knights are sweaty doom knights are pretty sweaty <laughs> i mean okay mm, they're strong here's the thing most tier 3 units are sweaty just because they're very very strong but some of them suck so they're fine also usually it's not just two random armies right unless we have the third person you know taken out of the picture as soon as someone somebody wins three it resets that's the whole point so if somebody takes something super strong worst case scenario they win three times and then they you know fucking we move on but i'm gonna be checking the army so if, if we go to start we check and they've got 19 dread saurians they're getting kicked immediately they're gonna give they're gonna be given one opportunity to change their army and then i'm gonna kick them <laughs> japan and oceana is wild okay moment of beer <laughs> no okay oh isn't oceana like that whole region like fucking polynesian islands and like australia and new zealand and stuff and then japan it's on like the same what do you call it the line top to bottom like hemisphere whatever that's not stupid to say what, what is Oceana then? No, you living okay moment. <laughs> hey, I never claimed to be smart. Twenty verse twenty-one unit sounds fun. I mean, that's the, that's what this is. Japan and Korea have an amazing internet. I know, but it's not about internet; it's about distance. No matter how good your internet is, there's still like latency over over long distances. So if you're in like America and you connect to somebody in fucking Australia, it's gonna be like f two fucking three hundred ping. That's just what's gonna happen. Nineteen eighty four. <laughs> it's Oceania, by the way. Oceania. Oceania. What? All right, I'm just gonna stop talking about this. Holy shit! Oh my god, he's fucking stacking them in just a big blob. Okay, major whiff. Taking a defensive stance, the squig hoppers are coming in. Is he gonna keep him rooted? Depends when he get, he's gonna use the ability. There he goes, he pops the rooting, th oh, sticks him in place. The damage per second comes, wait, 90 to 180 damage per second? Oh dude, they're pinned on all sides. Is he doing them in a rotation? See, that's the thing here. If he just spits them up into four stacks, he can kill these squig hoppers before they even get in. Like no joke. Oh, they're already losing a shit ton of guys. Unfortunately, the squid hoppers were able to get in, so they're chewing up some of the some of the wall grinders in the center here. What a mad fight! But they are chewing away at them. 
a good matchup also negative 25 percent speed and then also the seismic snare uh renders them unable to move i didn't realize warpquake had a, had a speed debuff i thought it was just a damage thing holy shit oh my god these fucking squigs just crumbling there's still 46 in each of these units, but their HP is like completely gone. That's that, that's nutty to see. Oh my god, they've been they've been. Oh, the second wave comes in. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, hold on. I sure as I have my recording software on. That's better. I should get some better frames now. What is that unit? So these are walk grinders. They are scaven, uh, it's kind of like uh, assault weapons team. They have these like drills and they stick them into the ground and they make crazy earthquakes and shit. They're also really good at taking down gates and walls. Holy shit, are they actually gonna win? Oh my God, the cycling of the fucking walk quake, walk quake is amazing. Oh shit, big mushroom, fermented fungi, reducing the melee defense by minus 24. And, but dude, no, the Nike officers are getting absolutely shrecked. Holy shit. God damn. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, Major Whiff absolutely taking the bag. Holy shit. I've never seen Squigs taken apart like, like, what an army build. 158 kills on one of these. 115, 51. 9,000 damage roughly on each one, 5,000, 3,000, 1,600, weird variations, Squeak <laughs> did literally nothing, <laughs> holy shit, what a goddamn fight, W for Major Whiff, well fought from the Squigs, 2 out of 3 is not bad at all, for Squig Hoppers, goddamn, well fought on both sides, congratulations to both Australia, bodies, Australia, New Zealand and Polynesian Islands, okay moment, Thumbs down. Thumbs no down. No thumb. Okay, blue dog. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> I'm not that good at geography. I'm okay. I don't know much about the. Uh, I don't live in o o Oceania. You know, I sh I knew that it encompassed like Australia, New Zealand, and shit, and the Polynesian Islands and stuff. Like I said that. I thought it may be Japan as well. I guess that's just Asia. Or Asian servers. It varies, man. Adokoi, cringe, low wits, brackets, ogre. <laughs> That's what you come here for, man. You come here for ogre moments and ogre levels of IQ. Did you come here for fucking a geography lesson? No. All right, so it's going to be uh, meta stability with a vampire coast that gets Major Whip with the Skaven. Major Whip bringing the same absolutely stacked Warp Grinder army with the triple gold chevrons. They don't even have, like, regeneration from the campaign and shit, too. All right, and then they're going to be facing off against... Oh my god, a Promethean gunnery mob army again? God damn it, meta stability! Come on, dude! Is this this dude's first time? That's like the third fucking time we've seen this army. God damn it. All right, okay, here's the thing. Are we gonna argue that this is too sweaty? I, we've seen it too many. Is this too sweaty? Guys, what do you think? Too sweaty or not? Or no? Oh, he's already deleted it. He already deleted it. <laughs> he's already just shame deleted it. I'm not gonna kick him. I'm not gonna kick him. He's gonna have full freedom of choice of whatever army he wants to say. Not ban too sweaty, too sweaty, too sweaty, too much, much too sweaty. Yes, it's too sweaty. Too fucking boring. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Man's fumbled the bag, just that little smidge. Let's give him another chance, boys. Come on. Meta stability. I'm I'm counting on you here, bud. You gotta take a. a, a it doesn't have to be fucking weak at all. Just don't take something sweaty. So sweaty is a bit of a weird like subjective term right because then you could say that like a squig hopper doomsday is sweaty but then you'd be a fucking idiot because it's obvious god damn it no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm totally kidding but you, you, if you okay a pro, running prometheus gunner mob is it super 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 strong yes then it's then it's like the wrong thing but like anything else almost almost anything else except for necrofix colossus doomsday and a death god doomsday and anything else that you, it okay the rule is if it's super fucking strong and not interesting or 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 you know beatable then it's sweaty 
Parethians aren't too strong, but they're so boring. We've already seen them too many times. I mean, I think that they're decently fucking strong. Plus, like, it's gonna keep raising the bar. Think about it. If somebody, if he takes Royal Prometheus gunnery, gunnery Mob, right? They're gonna absolutely take a shit on the chest of the Warp Grinders, right? Then the Warp Grinders are gonna get replaced with something that is gonna ha be able to beat the uh, running Promethean Gunnery Mob, which is gonna be like a full army of fucking, I don't know, Death Guard with Halberds or whatever. And then, it's, you know what I mean? And then it's just, it just becomes a sweat competition until finally somebody wins three times. And you know what I mean? I don't want to get stuck in that loop. Did he take something? Okay, I think he's still thinking about it. Meta stability. You don't have to play Vampire Coast as well. You can play any faction you want. Take any unit you want. Just not something super sweaty. I know this is super subjective. I got so, I got so many salty comments the last time we did the stream, guys. Like everybody in chat was like in agreement. Like this is sweaty. This is this is like cringe. Whatever. But like, I wasn't checking the armies. We like got in and it was like, oh, this guy, fuck. This guy took a ter Terracotta Sentinel Doomsday. But then I got comments like, this is fucking gatekeeping. Like, who hosts a Doomstacks tournament but then lets nobody take Doomstacks? What is this? I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, man. I don't know, I'm not gonna lie. I totally fumbled by forgetting Chevs, but I picked normal blood letters because I figured exalted were too much. I mean, yes, and you should have taken the, the, the gold east. My, okay, here's a good rule to go by. If you know, so for example, if you know that you're going to be fighting this, right? Bear in mind, warp grinders are, okay, that right here where my mouse is, they're a, they're a level two unit. They're a, they're a tier two unit. So try and, if you're going to be fighting them, take another tier two unit. Don't go to tier three and, and shit all over them, right? Because then it's not fun to watch. Or outplay them with a tier one doom stack and show them how much of a bitch they are. All right, he's gonna be taking a full. Oh, okay, here's a little. Okay, again, no, dump a, a, a tier two unit, not OP, but also very beatable. If you take an army with weapon, the, the, with with magic damage on the weapons, they will absolutely obliterate this Sirene's army. Or if you take a magic guy with bound spells, immediately the Sirene army is fucking done. And it's being led by Silostra. This okay, this is pretty fucking thematic. I do not think in any universe that a Wolf Grinder Doom Stack's gonna beat this, but they do do magic damage. They have magic damage melee attack. Okay, this could be close. Wait a second. Wait a second. This could actually be way closer than you think. Because Wolf Grinders do magic damage with their melee attacks, which is gonna cut through these these fucking sirens like butter. Also, the the warp ability has gotta do magic damage, right? Which means it's probably gonna chew through the, these sirens. This might actually be way more one-sided than people think. Sweaty, bruh? That's not sweaty. You're overestimating unbuffed sirens. I think. They're not bad. Sirens are great. All melee infantry lose the map. Are we gonna solo this? Wait, just wait, just wait. I guarantee this is gonna be way closer than we think it's gonna be. But, you know... There you go. But I, you can counterpick this. That's the fun thing. As soon as this is over, somebody could like, as soon as this is over, say the sirens like absolutely mop the floor with the warp grinder do set, right? Somebody can counterpick it. That's the beauty of this. The 1v1v1v1, one 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 one, right? Like you just, you just get, so, it's like top trumps. Somebody comes in, picks a counter stack, unless they fumble the bag, which people do a lot. <laughs> it's crazy that like it's, people have the full foresight of seeing the entire previous battle. They know what army they're going to be facing and they still, they, they're like, I'm going to take literally the perfect army for them to fight me. And then <laughs> I'm going to give them an easy win. That's, cra that's crazy to me. Is it like people not really knowing much about the units in the game or like how the how it functions or something? Maybe it's like second nature to me. I feel, I just feel like it should be second nature to everybody, right? Wait, what the fuck? Why is this unit like sm Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to ignore that. Man eaters are sweaty or not? Man eaters They're yeah, they're a tier 3 unit that's sweaty. But if you're taking man eaters to fight a anti-large army not not sweaty because then it's like a counter you know what i mean if it's counterable so for example if you took a full army of ogre bulls with dual weapons that's not sweaty because they can be easily countered i'm not gonna lie i totally forgot the greenskins won until i glanced over when the timer was uh, ticked in lol at okoy <laughs> oh man 
a gorgeous sweaty gorgers would have been sweaty back in the day when they were powerful but now they suck gorgers are so fucking weak what was the what was the almost unbeatable army from last stream okay well there was a couple there was a pretty sweaty spear and ranged weapon doomstack and there was a terracotta sentinel doomstack both of those were pretty much unbeatable because they're like end game doomsticks it was like a high elf one uh which was like dude did they look so fucking weird okay can i just say i fucking hate this glowy blue outline that units get i think it's way too obnoxiously bright um, and i think that it stands out too much in the game am i the only person who hates that shit like i it's like the same thing in skyrim you know when you cast a healing spell on yourself and you get that cheap looking glowy outline on your character and your hands and shit and it just looks so bad and there's like a mod you can get to take that away and so that you just get the glow like the the swirly glow effects on the hands and not over the body and it looks like so much fucking better it was better in warhammer 2 i kind of like it really i feel like it should be more subtle take away the brightness and then the amount of like the glow by like 50 percent and bam crisp perfect or make them actually transparent make the units literally see-through Maybe they can't do that. I feel like there, there's, there must be some way to make them transparent. Also, we're getting some crazy lag. This has got it. <laughs> Ironically, as soon as like I call the meta stability joins, the fucking stability of the game tanks. <laughs> I wonder what happened. 100% agree. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I just, I think it's a little, it's just a little bit too obnoxiously bright for me. Maybe it's because I've got like an ENB on, so it'll be like jacking it up. But man, it, it just look how many rats there are. <laughs> they make Queek look so big. Look at these tech rats. Hell yeah. Upgraders are underrated, dude. Really fun unit. The, the only reason I'm, I don't take them more often is because they require a lot of, like, micro. Like, you've got to cycle their abilities. You've got to use them at the correct times and stuff. Like, I'm so bad at that. And okay, what about heroes in this event? Okay, so heroes are an interesting one. Like, if you take, say, like a full hunter doomstick, and they're all on stone horns, super, super sweaty. If you're taking a, prin a prince doomstick, and they're all on, like, I don't know, dragons or eagles or some bullshit, super fucking sweaty. But if you take, if you take, like, 19 plague priests, but then use them in melee, then suddenly that's not sweaty. Or if you take 19... Uh, dwarf engineers you know what I mean that's not sweaty because they're not good <laughs> like that's the rule of thumb if the army's very strong and it's the equivalent of a super powerful end game doomstack then it's like that's too sweaty pack masters on foot there you go pack masters on foot perfect example of an army that's not super OB because they're not that good in melee and you can easily counter pick that army Firebelly sweaty. Firebellies are very strong. But then again, if you just go with like a ranged army, then they're kind of fucked. It doesn't look like the warp, uh, the warp quake is as strong as I thought it was going to be. It's not bad. 90 to 180 damage per second, though, is fucking nuts. That's so much damage over time. That's like an impressive amount of damage over time. Dude, Warp Grinders get buffed? Dude, he's- Major Whiff is so good at cycling these things. Like, anytime they get even vaguely close, he's like on it with these casts. They're just standing there getting fucking damaged. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wait. You can't put Silostra on a fucking- What? Meta? Why would you put Silostra on a fucking crab? You don't think that's a little OP? This could solo the entire army by itself. What the fuck were you thinking? Now you notice? Yeah, I just I didn't even I, I didn't even think he would do that. What do you mean? <laughs> Why would you put Silostra on a cramp? I, I I don't know how many times I've had like 50. I've mentioned OP do sex like 70 times. The dude's like, yeah, fucking end game crap, man. That's fucking chill. Meta moment. Okay, moment number 11. 
Well, I'm glad somebody's keeping track of the Oko moments. You gotta use the crab now, man. You can't just like, it, you can't just tuck it away in the corner and act like it's not there. That's the equivalent of like a child being caught with something he shouldn't have and he hides it behind his back. Like, what do you mean? You've already made, you've already fucked up owning it now, I guess. If this crab beats the entire army of war grinders, though, I'm gonna be so salty. Chad Crab. Oh, God. Mr. Krabs has seen better days. Dude, I want to see a reshoot of Spongebob, but Mr. Krabs just looks like this. Just a haunting visage. Just like an... <laughs> like... 30 foot tall... Hermit Crab. <laughs> Leave it for the end. Crab taking the walk of shame, lol. Man, this lag is nuts. Average crab fan versus average drill enjoyer. <laughs> there's no way. I mean, even like if you sent Quick Head Taker off to like try and solo Silo Show, there's no fucking way. Like, he's got tremendous armor piercing. I think uh, Quick actually has some of the best armor piercing for any Foot Lord. Yeah, 340, only 80 base weapon, 35 bonus versus infantry, and duelist. Like, Quick is so good in a duel. Like, he's underrated for one on one duels. Oh shit, the crab's coming in, but it can't move. Oh god, the frames! Man, that looks really dramatic. Holy shit, that looks cinematic. This looks like a fucking crazy album cover for like a for like a black metal band. God damn! Oh, the crabbo is freezing a little bit. Okay, if Queen. Okay, also, Wolf Grinders do have magical damage and 96 weapon strength with 78 armor piercing, so they could drill through this crab like it's nothing. On top of the uh, the damage over time, they, they're probably going to chew through this crab like, like absolutely- Yeah, dude, look at the- Oh my god! Oh <laughs> god damn! Oh my god, trophy hits do for zero melee defense? So that crab is going to be getting drilled to shit right now. Okay, maybe the crab was an OP. I think this warp grinder deduce deck might be OP. <laughs> like, really? I mean, I mean, you could easily fuck up this uh, warp grinder army with even like a tiny bit of range. Like, they could have taken literally one unit of poison globideers and that the whole army would be ruined. I don't go, I said crab late game drill be life. I mean, apparently drills are OP. Like, who knew? This was essentially my tactic when I was doing the uh, Wolf Rider Doom stack, though, but I tried to vary it up a little bit and spread them out. But it's, it was so much weaker. Oh my god, I'm. Celostra, no! <laughs> the fucking scream! Oh, the Crabbo is down, and a heroic victory for the Skaven! Damn! I don't quite love the stream. How have you been? I've been good, my friend. I don't quite. A single cast of Pit of Shades. Yeah, well, no magic casting. That's another thing. Make sure you read the description for the rules, boys. Oh my god, 25 losses out of 450. Versus an entire stack just gone. God damn. A beautiful fight. Wait, what happened to the Wolf Grinder guy? Wait, what? Wait, did he leave? What happened? Somebody joined called Cross of Mammoth already, but wait, did he? Was it Old Man Larry playing the rats? Or am I going nuts? I'm so I'm like taken aback. Did he do three wins already? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did he win three times? I could have sworn that was two wins. Did you say people can only win three times, lol? Did he win three times? I Two times, yeah, right? Major whiff, whoops. Yeah, he just left by accident. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought it was two. Fuck, all right, moving on. I guess we got two fresh stacks. Bretonia versus Beastman, maybe. That's pretty thematic. Pillar of Bones. I, I mean, 
I guess I mean you're free to join back man you technically didn't get your third win you won two yeah fun build all right old man wait didn't old man Larry lose shouldn't we kick him to replace him with somebody else I could have sworn old man Larry has already lost once oh wait no he fumbled the bag Larry fumbled the bag and so it like didn't put um didn't put green, uh, gold chevrons on his shit yeah, okay, we'll give old man Larry one more chance. He technically didn't get a fair showing. You've got to... The boy fumbled. Forgive the boy. Okay, Beasts of Nurgle. Beasts of Nurgle are very strong, but I wouldn't say that they are... sweaty. Although a full army of Beasts of Nurgle with triple gold chevrons is going to take, like, a decent army to take it down. I don't think it's that sweaty though. They're Nurgle, so they suck. Yeah, you could just you could take like a fucking ranged army and kill them so quick. Is that a sweaty stack? It's just good. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good distinction. I just learned that pack masters don't get summons in multiplayer. What? Really? Man, that sucks. That's like their only fun mechanic. It's the ability to en masse summon shit tons of crappy dogs that, that route the second they touch melee combat. Okay, is there any way to play Demon Prince and not suck? Ah, uh, dude. I, okay, actually, I played a Demon Prince playthrough uh, recently, and it was bad, and I hated it. So I d installed a mod that increased the amount of glory that you get and gives you way more glory from, like, buildings and shit, and then it was pretty fucking good. Damn, brother, this music is a banger. Any chance I can get a link? Uh, once again, I will show it on stream, and y'all can timestamp this or whatever. And these are, these are all the songs. This is this is West Coast, uh, East Coast by Telefunken. But yeah, this is all the songs. Screenshot it, all that good shit. All right. Looks like Cross of Marmot is ready with his Nurgle Doom stack. And old man Larry's ready to go, so we're gonna have. Oh, okay, a beast of Nurgle do sick. With that 41 43 split melee damage, they got Cloud of Flies. 40. Uh, okay, wow, they're a lot faster than I thought. I thought Beast of Nurgle were way slow, but 40 speed. They've got Cloud of Flies, they've got Slime Trail. Uh, regeneration. Oh, oh my god, okay, led by Festus, that's actually scary. Led by Festus, that's fucking terrifying because he can, if he has his uh, AOE switched on, his healing elixirs of his harbins of pestilence, that's double healing. But it's gonna be an Archer's Light Armor Doom stack. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, okay. This is what I mean by counterpicking. If he can, if he can do this correctly, that Beast of Nurgle Doom stack is going down. It's not even gonna be close. He counterpicked him right out the gate. The dude was asking in chat for a beast of Nurgle, Nurgle Doom stack. He fucking capped it immediately and took an Archer Doom stack. <laughs> no way. Oh man. Okay, so this is like a game of princess. This is a game of if the beast of Nurgle get into melee combat with the archers, they are fucked six ways to Saturday. But if the archers can can get a good amount of shots up before they get in a melee combat the beasts of nurgle are screwed and it's a crushing defeat congratulations to old man larry what the fuck happened <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait did it fucking bug what the fuck happened that was the fastest defeat i've ever seen in my life <laughs> oh man what happened fuck I guess, is that like like a connection issue? Maybe? I don't know what the fuck just happened. Fastest victory in the West? Dude, that guy like... He speed ran that shit. I don't know, I didn't even touch him. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think it's bugged. Um... Maybe one of them like lost connection or some shit? I don't know why it kicked me back to the uh, lobby. Here, you might have to remake the lobby. Nope, there we go. It's fine. It, it caught back up. I'm gonna just refresh the map. Oh, error. There was a DC in the game exiting. Okay, well, let's reset up the lobby then. What the fuck is happening? Oh, yeah, this is the lobby name, by the way. It's in the description, too. Just type in the word Okoy, you're sure to find it.
Festus got trolled. Dude. I mean, can we, do we, can we count that as a win? Okay. Oh my god, it's Ted Kaczynski again. God damn it. Why is it the same fucking guy who blew up universities joining every time? All right, fuck it. If we sit, we'll, we'll uh, fuck. I, there's, I don't know what else we can do. I, like, there's no way I can stop people joining to get you, both of you back in. It's fucking, that, that sucks dick, but. Oh shit, wait, let me, hold on. Custom funds. Six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Okay, it looks like the guy didn't want to be seen on a public uh, forum with Ted Kaczynski, so he's bailed. Now that's fair enough. He's been replaced with Mr. Crusader. <laughs> I will get my fight back. Hey, man. Oh, here's hoping. Here's hoping you get back in at some point. Bro, I got disconnected. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. Can't you invite them? Uh, not unless I got them added on Steam. Best I could do would be to get a uh, room code uh, and then send the room. No, wait, that's for campaigns. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I would have to, like, uh, maybe make the <coughs> session with a different password and, like, DM them. The, you know what I mean? It doesn't really work. 69 the best. All right, it looks like Ted Kaczynski's ready to go with his Dark Elf Doomstack. A lot of interesting uh, options you go you could go for with the Dark Elf Doomstack. A lot of them are very sweaty too, like a Shades Doomstack, but we'll see how that goes. 2v2. Uh, we might do some 2v2s to close out the stream, but I'm going to leave that until the very end because the last time we did that, it lagged like absolute shit. Like, as you can tell, even when we have just two people and me spectating, we get some lag. So... Did I seriously lose my slot over that Oko? Okay. Unfortunately, my dude. There's not much I can do for, like I said, like to get specific people back in, it's like a pain. I can just ask people not to join for a minute, but I don't think it's gonna work. I hope you get back in though. All right, looks like Tetsu Kaczynski's bringing a giant spider doom stack led by a Rakoth the Beastmaster. Dude, that's super thematic. 41 melee attack poison. And 38 melee defense, actually decently, and 70 armor and 78 speed. Dude, this army might actually be really strong. Versus a full Iron Drake dude saying, let's fucking go. God damn. Okay, th once again, this is a, if they get into melee combat, they're fucked kind of fight. It's on the Moonbow too, so a lot of trees. All right, we'll see how this goes. God damn. Burn spiders burn. This is like like uh, Australia simulator right here <laughs> this is just like this is the Belagar Iron Hammer Australia experience <laughs> man bugs they're not bugs they are wait are they but are, are, are arachnids bugs I know that like like spiders on insects they're they're arachnids but are they all bugs? Because bugs is just a term for like all of them, right? Aussie simulator? They're not insects. Crabs? They're not crabs. Shut up, dude. <laughs> all right. Mr. Crusader with the uh Okay, actually you know what? No, I was gonna I was gonna rag on him for his like low times, but it's actually not that bad. Oh, it looks like the spiders have the high ground. Oh, they're fucking horrifying. Jesus Christ. Oh, they're so much worse looking than I thought they would be. Jeez. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's see what kind of formation he's going to take with the Iron Blasters. Dude, Iron Blasters, I, I feel like the little cannons that they have are so small. I would expect them to be so much bigger. Like, they're, they're, the, the little image of them on their, on their like, thumbnail... Makes the cannons look so much bigger. Then you get in, they got these stubby little baby guns. Okay, spiders look like my cat. What kind of fucking cat do you have? Jesus Christ. Unless you're Australian, in which case your cat is actually just a spider. A cat-sized spider. I don't quite everything becomes crab eventually. I don't I don't th I don't I'm, I wanna see the medical I wanna see the the, the anatomical background information on that that fucking claim warhammer has bugs <laughs> warhammer is full of bugs dude i should inbox 
I should inbox a CA employee with a, a picture of an Arachnorok spider and say, hey, I found this huge bug. <laughs> Dude, should I do that? <laughs> oh, man. I, I, or, like, put it in, like, a bug report shed. Just a big old picture of an Arachnorok. I don't quite become crab. <laughs> What if you did a giant stack? A gi simulator. Okay, I I want to say that a Oceana simulator. Oh, Blue Dog with a two dollar donor. Thank you, my dude. Oceana simulator. Shut up, dude. I'm never gonna live that down. Oh my god, this is horrifying. Oh, this is really fucking horrifying. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> oh god, the news is on. Yeah. The Warhammer news. All right, let's see how this goes. I, I'm again, I don't think that there's no fucking way that he's going to be able to kill them all before they get in. And Iron Drakes are just bad in melee combat. I just don't see how this is going to go well. But maybe he'll surprise. Maybe he'll pull it out. Stranger things have happened. Oh god, the spiders descend from the trees. Man, that looks really cinematic and horrifying. Holy shit, so many spiders. Burn! Burn! Oh, that's not even vaguely enough damage. God damn. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that looks really cool. Wow. Wow, that looks really neat, but, oh well, god. Holy shit. I mean, some of them are routing. He's definitely set up his army in a good position, but... Ooh, these cross hits are very good. God damn, dude, the flames. Just racing some fucking spiders on the bobby on a classic Australian Saturday night. <laughs> oh my god, wait, the, uh, the Iron Drakes are winning. Holy fuck. They're actually pulling it off. The damage, the layered formation is doing wonders. Look, they're completely routing. Holy shit, the, the fire plumes. Oh my god. Wow. God damn, and Rakoff getting chewed up by the flames too. There's no way Belagar loses that fight. Wow. No fucking way the iron the <laughs> fucking iron drake dude site just won that. I cannot believe that just happened. From my experience, flamethrowers have such terrible line of sight issues in this circumstance, like I never saw them doing enough damage to like to route them before they died. I guess that's the whole, the benefit of Iron Drakes having 125 armor and 35 melee defense. Like, they're not to, and there it is. They fucking broke. Holy shit. Victories for the dwarves. Crikey. <laughs> Goddamn. The Australians have beaten back the spiders as, as it is in Australia. Are people in Australia, like, are you guys just used to spiders? Or are you terrified of them? Because I fucking, I hate spiders, dude. They, like, I'm fine with spiders in most video games, except for one video game, which was a an RPG, it was a linear RPG of might and magic. Instead of it being like a strategy game, it was like a linear, 
yeah, I don't, I don't know. Heroes of Might and Magic, something, some whatever. And it had spiders in it. And they made me so fucking uncomfortable and scared, dude. I think I've brought it before. They were fucking terrifying, though. Okay, scared of spiders confirmed. Dude, I'm I'm not that scared. Like, I cr like they'll pop up in the house and I'll just crush them. Like, I'm a Dark Messiah. There you go. The spiders in Dark Messiah, uh, Mind Magic Dark Messiah were fucking terrifying. They fucking scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. There was like this one, I remember going into like a fucking house and there's like a, sp there was like a spider upstairs. I was like fucking, I was like hyperventilating, like breathing, like, like, all right, I got this, I got this. <laughs> I like fucking ran upstairs into the house and I fucking swung my sword and missed. It jumped up my screen and I fucking, some spidey boys. I screamed and I threw my fucking controller and I broke my controller. And I had to buy a new one and I lied about how I broke it. T Tony Knot with a two dollar dono, unbridled dowie rage and flames, some spidey boys. Much better. I genuinely expected the spidey boys to win that. I mean, melee against overwhelming fast me like melee units with 70 armor, I would have thought would have just beat the shit out of those spiders. But apparently not. Actually genuinely impressed. Sky Junk's incoming. Oh shit! Grand Cathay. Rad jazz them in with Grand Cathay. Not a lot of units, I gotta say. It's one of the new factions. Wow, you were having Okar moments even back then? Dude, my whole life is an L. <laughs> nah. Okay, what about a Ushabti stack? Ooh, okay. Ah, the, uh. I don't know, man. They're very strong. That, mmm. That's teetering the line between sweaty and just like a really strong army. Uh, 19 crane gunners? That would be fun. All right, so. It's going to be the Iron Drake's Doomstack. And to counter it, Red Jester has brought in a, a crane gunner Doomstack. Dude, some fucking people called that shit in chat. Holy fuck, this is going to be a slaughter. Armor piercing missiles, 275 range. Oh my god, dude, this is gonna be a fucking slaughter. Hey, now that's no way to talk about Kuro and Okoi. What do you mean? Don't bring Kuro into this. She's perfect. And Okoi, I don't think you shopped here are fun enough to balance the sweat. Yeah. If they're strong but fun, that's like the balance that you want to take. But if they're strong and boring and sweaty then it's a little bit wait wait oh what the fuck what is this map dude this is fucking oh it's like a blackhawk and one of you starts on the blackhawk so it's like a bridge battle dude what more maps like this ca how can you make a map this fucking cool and creative and like with this good scale and like design and shit i, I know this is a quest battle map so maybe that's why but like fuck man more quest more maps like this this is bitching Look at this fucking ramp. Think of all the line of sight shit you could do with this. Actually fucking cool. Look, cause you could sit like artillery on here and fucking dude. Oh man, this is actually such a goddamn cool map. It's CA dub, but they don't care anymore. Law. I mean, I disagree. I think CA care. I think that uh, people give them <laughs> bad rap. I think Warhammer, the Warhammer community is one of the most, like, high demanding communities ever, though. Like, every game that comes out there, they police it so bad. I appreciate it, because we end up getting a good game in the long run. But, like, Blood Bowl 3 has, like, such bad reviews right now. <laughs> like, they don't let game devs get away with anything, man. Okay, are you excited for Chaos Wars? Dude, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me my funny hat, man. I'm gonna be streaming the fuck out of that. We're the most childish community, Lamau. Yeah. I mean, there's... I, I mean, have you seen, like, the fucking... Fortnite community, dude? We're adults. <laughs> World Bowl 3 is a janky mess with huge connection issues. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna play it anyway. <laughs> most likely. I mean, it's just not my thing, man. I tried playing the second one or the first one, I forget. Whichever one had an Ogre Kingdoms DLC, I was just like... I tried, man. I put like eight hours in. I was like, this is so not my thing. Adokai, isn't Snitch's end quest map from the Shadow of the Blade? 
Is oh maybe I have no idea, dude. It's been a hot minute since I've done a Snitch campaign. Yeah, I'll be doing I'll be doing streams, videos, everything with the Chaos Dwarves when they hit, man. Whatever legendary loves get announced, I'll do a poll, see what you guys want me to play, all that good shit. I'm hoping for shots all the executioner. I'm hoping for the uh, fucking old guy, the like the the super old chaos dwarf. I'm hoping for Gawk Iron Skin. All that good shit. Snitch and Malice, yes. Dude, that's that was just like. Did anybody like Malice more than Snitch? Like, I want, like, it, did anybody prefer Malice to Snitch? Like, I actually, like, genuine question. Did anybody actually prefer Malice to Snitch? Anybody in chat? Me. Ban that guy. Ban him. Quick. Ban him. Ban that guy. Ban that fucking nerd. <laughs> Alright, quick, admins, Get, guys, ban, mods, ban them, ban them now, get them all, get the fucking losers in chat, ban them. <laughs> Dude, fuck that, Snake just so much cooler than Malice, Malice is, Malice is like what a fucking 18 year old emo girl would design as like a fucking main character. I want sexy, handsome dark edgy elf guy with a fucking wing on his shoulder and he has angst and inner demons like why that or a ninja rat with with three knives including one he holds with his fucking tail what planet are you on that malice is cooler what fucking universe are you from where that's even vaguely cooler Dude, look at this approach. Oh my god. Do not send the lone man just straight up. He's gonna get ripped to pieces. Dude. <laughs> please don't send the lone man just straight up. But please do. I really want to see that. Dude, a man he sends the lone man just straight up. He just gets fucking flambéed. But 90% won't save. Malice is a wiener boy, dude. Anybody that thinks that Malice is cooler than Snitch is fucking has like 17 chromosomes. That's it's not even subjective anymore. <laughs> Snitch is just cooler in every way. It is undeniable. Wait for it. Stalemate kick. I was kind of worried this would happen when I saw the map is that I, I thought the sniper guy was gonna be on this side, so I thought he was just gonna like set all of his snipers up like this And just wait for him to come over this little thing and just snipe the shit out of him But this is like even look at these regimented layers waiting for them to come over. There's in, in no reality Do the crane gunners come out in a good position for this like how do they get line of sight? They're gunners Look at them go Cray in the gunners! Do they do that shit when you click on them still? That was, dude, I I'm sorry, am I the- Oh wait, I dude, I fucking missed so much shit. Oh my god. Holy fuck, wait, did I miss? I've missed a bunch of shit. Oh, okay, Noah became an ogre. Thank you, Noah. Thank you for becoming a member. Chris Williams also became an ogre. Thanks for becoming members, my dudes. Chris Williams gave 10 fucking memberships, oh my god. Bruh! Holy shit, thanks for- Dude! Thanks, Chris! Very nice of you. That's, uh, 10 memberships for, uh, 10 people in chat. Make sure you say thanks, guys. Holy shit, very generous. Thank you, Chris. Good old green names in chat. I'm glad that they fixed the fucking... stupid colored name bullshit. I don't know why they turned that shit on. It was impossible to distinguish people who were members from people that aren't members. Good to see you, Okai. Good to see you, too. Man, yeah, very nice of you. I do. Thank you for that. I hear a lot of things in this game. You hear a lot of things about this game, or you think a lot? You hear a lot of things in this game. Because it's a loud game. Am I okay? Yeah. What I was gonna say is, 
Does anybody find the Cathay? I've told I I mentioned this multiple times on stream. So if you watch my stream, you're gonna have heard me talk about this. But has has anybody noticed how borderline offensive the names are? The, like the the accents are for Cathay people. Is it just me? I like maybe I'm just totally out of my element. But like, if you click on like. Iron Hill Gunners, they go like, I am the hero Gunners! And I'm like, dude, what? I was, okay. It's, it's really fucking, no, they're just funny. It's like a really, I mean, is it just me? They're really fucking, a little bit hamming it up. Game Sports Shop Casual Racism. I, it's not on the same level as like, pygmy tabletop models, but like, they're at least silly sounding, right? I can't remember what unit it is, but one of them, like, it, it, oh, it's Jade Crossbow. They go, Jade the Crossbow Bowman. Like, super fucking, like, like I'm going to look over and they're going to have a rice patty hat and buck teeth. Like, it's going to be that level of super <laughs> racist. I don't know. The voice actors are Asian, I think. There's no fucking way that that's, like, legit. Is it just me? It just sounds so over the top and deliberately, like, put on. Jung, Zhao Ming is Zhao cringe. <laughs> I like Cathay, man. They're a cool fucking faction. They're like dwarves, but not slow. And okay, funny Chinese genocide in Nanking 1937. What the fuck? How did that not get censored? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. Goddamn Kurgan's breaking down my shitty wall. Dude, how has nobody used the city wall meme for Cathay? Fucking goddamn Mongolians talking about my shitty wall. But like, dude, somebody please put do that, but make it Cathay. Like have fucking... <laughs> what's his fucking name? What's the what's the Warriors of Chaos guy that they added in? Shitty walk? Dude, that, that is such a legendary character in South Park. Make them go into melee only mode for the rest of the match. This is a shameful display. I don't call it. Oh, okay. He finally pushed. Here you go. He finally pushed. Mr. Crusader is making the move. Mr. Crusader is actually taking the Chad move here and pushing himself. He's biting the bullet and he's pushing forward with the flamethrowers. They're getting a melee combat. Oh my god. More Australian genocide. Oh shit. They actually shrugged that, that off. No way. Bella guys, it's a melee combat uh, ch uh, session up some of the crane gunners. It looks like the uh, crane gunners are getting the best of the iron uh, drakes. Much to be expected. How much armor do they have? Crane gunners only have 30. Oh, that was a good volley. I mean, maybe the armor is going to be enough here for them to like tank this shit and push through. Oh, that volley. Dude, iron drakes are very satisfying to watch. They are slowly chugging through them. The, the thing is, they put most of their infantry up here. Aussie versus Chinese. <laughs> oh, oh my fucking god, I just realized this is Vietnam. <laughs> Dude, we went from Australia simulator to Vietnam simulator. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not gonna get copyright strike. <laughs> I had to make sure it was under like five seconds. <laughs> oh man. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Is this copyright? Yeah, but that's probably gonna get cut out. If that's like two, this, you know what sucks? If I play that for more than like six seconds, then all of the revenue from this video gets taken. Like all of it. And also if they claim it, if that gets copyright claimed and I and I try and clip out a little bit of that thing to make it not copyrighted so the rest of the video is fine, 
Uh, it takes them like three days to fucking fix that shit. It sucks a dick. Dude, holy shit. Okay, so Cathay are kind of... No, they're winning. Cathay are just kind of winning on this flank. What? Wow, dwarves are even shorter than I remember. Holy fuck. Sheesh. I will be super curious to see how um, somebody counters this. <laughs> Look at him drifting around in his fucking balloon. Just fast enough to get away from the from the iron drakes. You know what would have been a better counter for this army? Would have probably been a full uh, short. <laughs> Dude, I love that fucking meme. That, that, the, like. That was probably the best cinematic trailer CA has ever released, by the way. That most recent one. Like, that shit came out of nowhere. I was not expecting it to be that good. I was like, oh man, an Immortal Empires launch trailer. This is gonna be like. Like, why? Like, you know, like, where was this, you know, when Immortal Empires actually released and shit? But it was so fucking good. Like, I mean, you know, it's a little bit, you know, stereotypical with like the fucking the blah, like, you know, inception noises. But like, it was done so well. Also, it was it's awesome to see the the uh, legendary lords interacting with each other and shit. It makes it feel more like a cohesive universe. Holy shit. God. Whoa. Holy shit. What's with all the gifted subs? My God. I'm gonna get a live stream fucking squad going. Noah with a fucking 10 gifted subs and another 10 gifted subs. My god. 20 dude like everyone in fucking chat's green now. Holy shit. God damn Noah. That is super fucking uh, generous of you. Holy shit. Thank you for the dono my dude. The 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 subbed donos whatever you call it. God damn. Dude this is it gonna keep doing that? Does he gonna do that for every member? Oh my god. Stop! Fucking stop! It's like my stupid emoji face. Is he gonna do it for every. Stop! What the f- <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I figured out an issue with the. with the, He keeps. This. I feel like I'm listening to very slow scene sex. Oh, Noah has gifted 10 ogre uh, memberships to viewers. Oh, it's got a little present icon and shit. <laughs> I just kept hearing like super slow siege cummies. Thanks, dude. Thank you, my dude. God damn. Look at all the emojis in chat. No, okay, I need to see my name. <laughs> God damn, these donors are nuts. Y'all crazy with the memberships. So many greenies in Chad now. Dude, this fight is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> it's such a slow fight. All right, guys, I, you've got about maybe two minutes, a minute, minute 30 seconds, and I'm going to demand that you go into melee combat. Like, I'm going to demand that you abandon your weaponry and make this a melee fight. You gotta make a move. Come on. It doesn't matter if you lose. Oh shit. Oh, oh he's got inspired marksmanship. And inspired defense. Wait, is that another one? Holy shit. Oh my god. Another 20 subs from Chris Williams. Holy shit. God damn. Literally, like, uh, fucking one, like, tenth of the chat is just sub now. Holy fuck. Thanks for the, uh, the memberships. God damn. Y'all are nutty with this. This is such a considerate thing to do, too. Giving everybody, uh, memberships instead of just don't owing money. I don't know. Why you don't make Chinese surveillance balloon joke? I'm disappointed. <laughs> Dude, what is that? What actually happened? I kept getting... Something must have happened in China, um, with, uh, surveillance balloons or some bullshit. Like, I'm assuming they were doing, like, public surveillance with, with like, weather balloons or whatever the fuck, because I got so many comments on my, uh, Skyjunk Doomstack video <laughs> about it. Like, tons of political comments. Like, this video is suddenly super relevant. We must, we must make Okoy rich for content. This is more for, like, like, cause, I, YouTube gets, like, a big chunk of, um, memberships, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't 
I, I think it's it's still like the 70-30 split that they do, or 60-40 or whatever. Okay, moment. At Okoi, they had balloons in the U.S. Oh! Okoi, I wasn't an Okoi mo- Wait, it's one guy spamming Okoi mo I live in the U.K., I don't give a fuck about the U.S. That's like, do, do, does anybody in the U.S. have any idea what's going on in the U.K. right now? Like, with our fucking- Who won that? I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> that took so long, I've been distracted by all these goddamn membership subs. Holy fuck. Yeah, your teeth are fucked, and okay. <laughs> Why the fucking roast for no reason? <laughs> oh my god. I got- I, I did have fucked up teeth, actually. I was a super British, and then uh, I got them all fixed. God damn. Alright, wait, Red... Okay, Lord Anthog has replaced the previous guy. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, guy! <laughs> Holy shit! Noah with another 10 uh, uh, Okoi memberships. Another t another 10 ogres in chat. Dude, oh my god, Noah. Chill your grits, my guy. You're absolutely balling out here. And I appreciate it, but don't go, don't bankrupt yourself, my guy. But, but much appreciated. Be, be fiscally responsible, but very, very much appreciated. Dude, I've never, I don't, I have never had these, dude, 69 new members! Holy shit! I just realized, new members, 69. There is now 69 new people in chat that are all members. Nice. I want to see nices in chat. God damn, dude. And, oh my god, and a fucking 200 knock dono from Rage. Oh, you were amazing? Dude, no, you're amazing. Man, what a wholesome stream. Wait, okay, so, hold on, let me get back to the stream for a second. Crane Gunners... Red Jastern versus the Hellstorm Rocket Battery News stack. Okay, I think I know where this is going. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're gonna randomize the map as well. Oh my god. Uh, and on the sexiest map possible. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking shit show. Rocket Batteries have at least double the range of crane gunners. I'm pretty Indian guy? Wait, what? At Okoy Indian guy? Wait, Vladimir Flopper, stop fucking spamming. <laughs> God damn it. What is it with people in spam? Okay, I gotta catch up on the donuts now while we're loading. God damn. 200 knock. Wait, knock is, um, Danish crones? And then, no, wait, Swedish? I do not remember. Thank you either way, my dude. Thank you very much. God damn. Y'all are crazy with the gifted today. This is unprecedented. And it's the best kind of, of uh, donuts where it's, it's membership. So everybody gets nice spicy green names. Dude, the fucking siege coming in the background, non-stop. Big Rival became an ogre as well. God damn it, you broke the 69th streak. But thank you for becoming a member. Dude, are we gonna seriously have to listen to a siege guy coming? <laughs> this much? Knock is Norwegian. Yeah, 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 okay. I can't remember what Swedish crones is the, the uh, anagram for it is. Or whatever, or whatever you call it. Welcome to Astalia, Okoy. Dude, speaking of Astalia, I was thinking of doing a, uh, a Gelt stream. Because I have not played any Empire campaign in Immortal Empires yet. Oh, no, 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 that's bullshit. That's total bullshit. I did Volkmar. I tried Volkmar's new campaign. But, um, I will do, I was thinking of doing a, uh, a Gelt campaign. I haven't done a Gelt campaign in a long fucking time. Adokoi, Gelt visits Cathay stream. That actually sounds States, interesting. We decided to shoot it down after it flew across the entire country. It was wild. Flew over my state. Whoa. Really? Dude, that's crazy. How did they know it was Chinese? Did they shoot it down and it, like, made a funny noise? <laughs> did, you, did they shoot a hole in it and, like, Chinese air came out? How do you know it's Chinese? Because there's no way they put a big Chinese flag on it or some bullshit. Uh, it's just a massive. It was just a Winnie the Pooh balloon. <laughs> it was just a giant inflatable Winnie Pooh balloon. Is that how you knew it was Chinese? Just a huge Xi Jinping. <laughs> oh, a draw? What the fuck happened? Okay, it looks like Lord Anthog lost connection. What's with all the fucking disconnects today? I got disconnected. Yeah, what the fuck? Did, uh, 
Okay, well, Rad is still in here, so I guess we'll just, like... Somebody else will have to drop in and challenge him with a different army? My bad, man. I'm not sure what's going on with the disconnects. I don't call it. They shut it down, and it had a label <laughs> made in China on it. <laughs> Everything. Dude, you could go into anybody's yard and shoot down any fucking balloon, and it's going to have a made in China sticker on it. <laughs> imagine if that's, like... Dude, I just imagine, like, the U.S. government shooting it down with, like, fucking 300 missiles. They go over, there's a tiny little label that says Made in China. It's from some kid in, like, fucking Ohio. Sent up, like, a balloon and shit. There's a Made in China sticker, and the U.S. is like, It was China, I knew it! <laughs> like, when it landed, it sounded like a gong at Okoi. <laughs> it deflated and played the Chinese national anthem on, like, a harpsichord. At Okoi, when it popped, it just said, Oh, brother, <laughs> what? Okay, your, your internet is run by a hamster. That's why there's so many disconnects. Dude, it's not me! All right, Grand Cathay, Rad Jester is going to be taken on by an exploding squig dune stack. Dude, no fucking way. Based droopy ears. My God. It was the poor quality craftsmanship that gave away the maker. Holy fucking shit, dude. Land. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, this is going to be amazing. So this is essentially the most range dodge shit ever if he can get those uh those sploders in he might be able to kill them but if he don't he then he's screwed it's gonna take like two shots from the snipers to take down these fucking explosive squigs what a fucking round dude an actual chad dude thank you for all the fucking donos and uh and memberships i uh I, my bad if i missed any I'm just, I'm just kind of like scanning back through to make sure I didn't miss anything. It was the poor quality, quality craftsmanship that gave away the maker. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, dono, Brandon. Minus one billion, one, 100 billion social credits. Dude, can you imagine the amount of China, of like China and Cathay jokes I've made on these streams? My social credit score would be like they'd execute me in the airport if I went to China. Adokoi, lol, kamikaze for shiny uh, sniper. This is, uh... This is ISIS versus China. ISIS versus Vietnam now, I guess. <laughs> no big chilling for you. Alright. Lord Magistrate and the Crane Gunners. Can they take out the exploding squig doomstack? Oh god. These little hole. Why does that always happen every time I look at a unit? Wait. Oh, it's Rakoth with an exploding squig doomstack, of course. Does, do the holes gross anybody else out? Just a little bit. You just get sent to prison camp and quietly work to death at Okoi? I mean... I probably wouldn't be very quiet about it. <laughs> Squigussy? Oh god. They're so cute. I mean, they're kind of cute. Yeah, they're pretty cute. It's the tongue, dude. It's the big floppy tongue and the roundness. The roundness and the tongue. Alright. Let's see what... Oh my god, he's just going full tilt. He's charging head on. What are you thinking? Okay, that's one down. Two down, three down, four down. Oh my god. He's he's swiveling. Rakoth is still there. Rakoth's about to get absolutely obliterated. Wait, how do they get the Lord Magistrate, though? Even if they were somehow able to, like, damage the uh, crane gunners enough. Ooh, fucking taking some hits. Oh, my God. Go, Rakoth, with your weird, gross horses. Oh, fuck. Damn, dude. Oh shit, oh fuck, they're coming to the left flank, are they gonna get in? Dude, make sure you spread them out though. Make sure you spread them out, droopy ears, you gotta spread out your squigs. If one of them explodes too close to the other one, it's gonna detonate the other one. 
Oh, you gotta get him in. Oh, one of them gets breaking through the lines and explodes. Oh, that's most of a unit down. <laughs> There's just not enough, dude. A valiant effort. I just don't think there's enough exploding squigs. But he's gonna try nonetheless. Another one's coming in here. Another explosion. Double explosion. Both sides of the... No, but one of them gets through. Basically, the entire unit's killed. Oh, another explosion. Another explosion. Almost a double unit kill. But wavering and breaking immediately. Broken and the army routes. And it's gonna be a, another win for the crane gunners. That's two in a row for the crane, crane gunners. Goddamn. Boom, baby. I like my women like I like my squigs. Round them with long tongues. Oh, God. You know what my favorite fucking joke for that is? Is, um... I like my women how I like my coffee. In a paper cup. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. It's an Eddie Izzard bit. Chris Williams with another goddamn gifted 10. That's 80 fucking new members in one day. Holy shit. Dude, I've never had over, like, fucking 15 members. That is crazy. God damn. Holy shit, Chris. Chris Williams, my god. Chris Williams and Noah single-handedly populating the channel with members. God damn, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit. What a W. W's in chat for... for uh, thanks and W's for the boys. For Noah and Chris in chat. Adokoi, what game is this? <laughs> this is Warhammer 3, dude. The game I... The game, the, the last game in a series that I, I built my whole channel on. Adokoi, do we count the time draw as a third win or keep going? Uh, no, 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 that, the draw was not a win. It was a draw because the guy disconnected. Adokoi, well, at least one six of the chat is members now. I know, that's fucking crazy. Hey. Yeah, thank you guys, holy shit. Okay, hang on, hold on. So, anyway, back to the, back to the thing, I keep getting distracted. How can I know? Okay, he's gonna try again with the Hellstorm rocket battery. I'm gonna swap the map out real quick and then we're gonna jump in. Ready up, guys. You're gonna have to re ready up, my bad. Adokoi, squigs with inbuilt cup holder premium edition. <laughs> Dude, somebody needs to make a mod where they add a giant cup holder to Grease's cot and, like, like, really turn it into, like, a lazy boy. Adokoi, what am I doing with my life watching this? I don't know, man. Well, that's a kind of a sad question. What do you mean? Oh. Having fun, hopefully. <laughs> uh, having fun? Watching Doomstack smash into each other? Oh my god, MG with another 10 gifted. Holy fuck, what is happening? 90 new members, god damn. This is nuts, dude. This is like Twitch stuff. I know this is like unprecedented. I've never seen anything like this. How do we join? Oh, uh, the, all of the information for joining the game, these multiplayer games, is in the description. Check the description for the rules and also the uh, the session information. It's just called like Okoy's Doomstacks One v Ones, Okoy One v One Doomstacks, something like that. Like, like it's it's up there. Dude, I I cannot get the sound of the the siege guy coming out of my head now. Okoy is our tyrant. We must feed him more subs. <laughs> God damn. Wow, giving the love today. Yeah, I, this is insane, dude. It's like difficult to focus on the stream. This is there's, there's so much coming in. Hellstorm rocket battery. Dude, if he plays this right, the Hellstorm rocket battery is going to smoke the ever loving tits off of these grain gutters. It's not even close. Like the range difference alone, 480 range to 275. He could just—he just needs to put like the Rattles on Rocket Badgers like here, and he's done. Oh my fucking god! Holy shit, dude! Whoa! And okay, is there a reason why you stream on YouTube versus Twitch? I yeah, I don't like how Twitch handles their um uses their reporting. Hold on, dude. I, I'll, I'll answer that question in a bit. Like I've answered it before, but like. Uh, Brandon Bentley with 20 fucking more members, just 110 new members, dude. That's literally one-fifth of chat. That is insane. Holy crap. Thank you for the fucking memberships, Brandon. My god. Jump in on this fucking sub train here. My boys, my dudes. Rage O with a 600 knock dono. Holy fuck. Okay, you deserve it. You are an amazing creator. Uh, 
Keep up the good work, matey. Thank you, dude. I will. I absolutely will. I got a seed stream stack incoming. We got the Chaos Wars DLC on the horizon. Dude, shit's looking up. Thank you, my guys. Holy fuck. This is nuts. My god. I'm getting a little choked up. I don't know. Face reveal at 500k subs. Uh, I, I don't... Dude, if you want to wait five years for me to do a face reveal, I could do it at 500k. I'm just going to do it when I get a, when I get a webcam, man. I'm going to get a... Uh, I'm like sit, putting money aside to get a uh, high quality webcam and I'll set it up for like a uh, cat cam slash just green screen thing. I want to be able to, uh, dude, I want to do the uh, wubby, the pay money wubby green screen suit with my face cut out so I can put my face on stuff in the game. Like how fucking funny would it be if I, if I could put my face on, um, on the legendary lord in the bottom left of the screen, right? That's, that, so, so, okay. God damn, dude, the donuts have been fucking nuts. Camphy with uh, gifted one Okoy membership. Thank you, Camphy, for jumping on the on the bandwagon, my dude. Thank you very much. It's it, it's over a hundred, over a hundred. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Um, so if you don't know what I mean, it's essentially a green screen suit on the whole body with just a circle cut out around the face. So I want I want to do that, and then put my face over the legendary lord like portrait in the bottom left, so it looks like they have my face. Shit like that, because I think that would be a fucking blast. Uh, okay, put his face on consultant. Dude, uh, I mean, if I want to have a receding hairline, I'll just go look in the mirror. <laughs> Lamal, those rockets are tearing them apart. Dude, oh, they're getting out. Dude, he went into column formation and everything to try and avoid it. Dude, Red Jester wants that third win. It, he even took Gelt. Okay, now this really is Vietnam. This really is Vietnam right now. <laughs> Wait. More Vietnam War music. Dude, I've... Uh, that's the one thing I wish. I wish beyond all belief that... Uh, that YouTube worked like Twitch in terms of monetization. Where... Because Twitch, you don't earn a ton of money off of the stream bots. You earn most of your money off of Twitch donations, right? Uh, that being said, I just got 111 fucking memberships. So maybe we're at a point where I can just be like, Fuck, fuck the revenue, dude. I'll just play copyrighted music for the whole stream. I might do that actually. For a couple of streams, I might just be like, don't donate, don't like whatever, and we'll just do some chill ass streams where I just play copyrighted music the whole time. It just because then, like, because fuck it, dude. Especially if like the Patreon gets to like a point where I don't have to worry about revenue as much. God damn. Yeah, the support's been nuts this, this stream, guys. Thank you so much. Ado Koi, have you thought about getting an ogre VTuber character? I, I've, a lot of the VTuber software is like super in-depth or super expensive. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I've, I've looked into it, I, but the technology is either like the free versions are like super bad or it costs like hundreds of dollars to get a very convincing VTuber made and most of it's like anime anyway. Dude, I just realized the snipers are in range. This is actually coming down to the wire a little bit. They're doing a fuck ton of damage to the, uh, the Hellstone rocket batteries. Look, and they can't seem to kill them. They're not accurate enough to take them out fully, but the snipers are easily accurate enough to take out the Hellstorm rocket batteries. Look at the balance of power. It's actually coming back in favor. You deserve it. You are an amazing creator. Keep you the good work, matey. Dude, there, finally. Dude, th th there's so many... I just realized so many memberships came through. It delayed all of the fucking donos. Rage O's uh, fucking message only just came through amongst all of the coming scene noises. Goddamn. Thanks again, guys. Adokai, isn't a jolly version of the title screen music from Twisted Metal Dark? I have no idea. VTubers are cringe. Dude, okay, a little bit, yeah. I can't, dude. It's, okay, here's the thing. I don't give a fuck about the, 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 uh, the little characters and the anime stuff or whatever. Like, you do you. I don't give a fuck. But when people put on fake voices, like fake high-pitched anime voices, that shit just naturally gets under my skin. I don't know why. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. Like, I know some people love that shit and they think it's adorable, but dude, I it just fucks me up so bad. It makes me so uncomfortable. Am I the only one? Is it just me? Or does the, like, the super high-pitched fake anime voice just, like, 
get like fuck with anyone else. It cannot be just me. And okay, why are you trying to hide your face cam of the monkey being hiding down there? Oh, dude, yeah, he's so small. I thought it was too in like too. Oh, I moved this fuck. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll size him up a little bit, all right? My bad. It's cringe, yeah. Me too, dude. Burn them. <laughs> I always prefer the ones that use their natural voice. Yeah, like I've seen a couple of Twitch streamers that just use their normal voice, but they have like an avatar because they're more comfortable being behind a VTuber, which I totally get. Like, I think everybody in the world has body image issues to a certain extent. And I have no problem at all with people using a VTuber as like a face thing. But it's when people start doing the fake voices. That's what, like, <laughs> and then I'm like, nah, nah, dude. Dude, this is coming down to the wire. Full 50-50 on the fucking, on the, on the morale. It's, it, I, I feel like Gelt is gonna carry it though. Like, just Gelt on his horse. Wait, how do they, how do crane gunners do melee? What do they do? Do they, 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 they don't attack, they just stand there and get killed. <laughs> what? Dude, I, I, who the fuck's gonna, are the snipers gonna pull this out? No fucking way. I don't know, what about a Seth Sinchian voice? Does, does Seth Sintach put on a fake voice? I don't know, make the monkey 1% bigger with every sub. <laughs> dude, it would be like covering, dude, if, if it got bigger with every sub or membership or donor or whatever, it would be covering the fucking screen right now. There's no way we could do that. I love that idea though. We could make the monkey turn bigger and slowly turn white. Like reverse colors. I think I did that for a scene stream and it looked haunting. I don't care. I'm okay with the voice as long as they actually make it sound good. I, I can't remember who it was, but I saw somebody that had like a demon one. And it was like a big fat demon guy. And they were using like a stereotypical like big, you know, like voice mod demon voice. And that was pretty entertaining because they were saying some whack shit in that voice. I cannot believe how close this fight is. I think Gelt's gonna carry it out though. Unless they can somehow snipe Gelt out of the sky. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, look at him dipping and diving! Oh, Gelt! With the moves! He's going down. Dude, this is actually so fucking close. If they can unload on Gelt in the sky, he's doomed. He's just completely doomed. But if he keeps missile dodging, he will win. I don't quite, nah, Gelt wins this fight. Yeah, but if they can snipe him out of the sky, like, if they'll have line of sight. They, Cause here you go, look, look. Oh, he's in the trees? I think he deliberately landed it. This is actually so clutch. Like, on paper, Gelt wins this, because how the fuck are they gonna kill Gelt as long as he dodges? But you'd be surprised, like, if they get some good shots on him with these, uh, Crane Gunners, he is screwed. 50 armor, he's only got 2,000 health left. Crane Gunners do, a, a, like, a good amount of damage. They could totally take Gel out here. <laughs> oh my god. Shaking. Okay, he's hiding behind the- Dude, Gelt's playing this smart though. Lord Anthog is playing this smart a little bit. But- Oh, fuck! Oh my god. Gelt the beast. I don't quite nog- <laughs> I don't know how long do you plan to stream? I I'm up for a, a for a hot minute, dude. I'm good. Maybe a couple, maybe like uh, another two hours or so. I think I started streaming at half five. It is now seven. Yeah, maybe maybe like nine for my time. So like in like two hours. Or... Oh shit! Yeah, Gelt broke. See, I told you the I told you the fucking snipers could have done it. They just had to get a couple more shots in him and he was down. Damn, that's three wins in a row. Holy shit! Red Jesson actually beat the Hellstone Rocket Battery. Stack. I cannot fucking believe that. One of the uh, uh, fucking crane gunners got like over 130 kills. Ad uh, I've been watching you for about a year now, and it's been really cool watching your uh, your donations and subs go out more uh, each stream you do. You absolutely deserve it. One of the best streamers around, dude. That's a, that's so nice of you to say. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh man, dude, this stream's getting me choked up, man. Like this is this is like mad support. Okay, what about uh, a little Grom dude stack? Oh, fuck. 
You see, I want to say that's cheese, but it's an artillery noob stack, so it could easily be countered. Spotify playlist? Yeah, dude, I actually put up a Spotify playlist recently. Uh, Give me a minute here. I actually, yeah, I have a Spotify playlist up now. I made a, I made an Okoy's Red Baggers playlist. Yeah, here you go. I put up a post about it. Um, oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, here you go. Okoy's Red Bangers on YouTube on, uh, on Thingy. It's already got 864 likes. Like I put up a community post about it. There's just a bunch of bangers in there. Not everything that I've used in videos before, but there's some good tracks in there, man. Okoy, thanks for uh, the chance to play. Love you. Hey. You're welcome, my dude. Oh, fuck. Wait, I ruined it. Fuck. Oh, no. I showed his army. Fuck. Hide the army. Oh, my God. The Oko moments are beginning. All right. I'm going to randomize the map. I hope Jay didn't see that. Jay, no. Ready up, Jay. Jay, you can't change your army now, Jay. I know what army you have. Oh, fuck me. Really? Oh, my God. Hey, yo. Okay, that's a little sweaty, but I'm going to allow it because assassins are definitely counterable. Assassins are definitely counterable. <laughs> Maybe not by that. <laughs> no way. Oh, but Kugath. Okay, Kugath with Nurglings? Maybe. Okay, interesting, interesting. I'm pretty sure the Assassins win this easily, but... I don't want to underestimate Nurglings, man. They got Poison, they got Cloud of Flies. You got Kugath in the mix. I'm pretty sure we know where this is going to go, but Nurgis, my boy taking the Nurgling Dune stack, a man after my own heart. Fucking Chad. And the Assassin, dude, I've done both, I've done videos on both these Dune stacks. Extremely fun, both of them. I recommend both of these. Arukoi, why is your first vid thumbnail that thing? <laughs> dude, my, I just realized what you mean. My oldest video is, um, a video I made, I think, God, how old is that video? Hold on. Oh, you can't filter my oldest video now. That's oh, okay. I've only uploaded like a hundred videos anyway. Eight years ago. Yeah. Okay. So that was a video I made eight years ago, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a. Uh, it, it was a, so there was a video game called Loadout, right? And you could. It was a really fun game actually. You could make custom weapons by combining different weapon parts, like a rocket launcher barrel and an assault rifle scope and like a you know you just combine shit and it was like a third person jump around it was like honestly an underrated game and then they just like made it free and then they just shut the game down forever i i don't know i guess it wasn't that popular but it was a good fucking game back in the day oh my god loadout was awesome dude yeah right it was such a fucking solid game i don't know what happened to it it just kind of got dropped but uh I, I i bought it when it was in like um you know, pre-release, and then I played the shit out of it, and then they made it free, and I was like, oh, cool, great, I paid money for it, and I had, like, premium, I had, like, a premium outfit and shit, like, I had my own custom dude fit, I had, like, a, a, a uh, a minigun build, I don't quite, Scarbrand allowed or no, Scarbrand, but you gotta take an army with him that's not, like, okay, Scarbrand's allowed, but Scarbrand, and then eight, 19 units of, um, Bloodthirsters, nah, not allowed, <laughs> Uh, definitely not allowed. Okay, I'm gonna maybe hide the shit for a second. Oh, I need the monkey scream blocker, actually. You know, we're fine, actually. You know what? Fuck it. I want to see if Kugath can win this. So, Kugath is an absolute monster. He's got to be one of the single strongest legendary lords in the game. Especially if you start getting his missile resistance up. Then he becomes like an absolute powerhouse. Because he is a sitting duck. 28 speed, only 70 armor. Like, he gets minced by ranged. Oh, dude, look at these little guys. They're so fucking cute. Dude, Nurglings have got to be one of the best units. The animations are so good. Look at those little guys. Such happy little fellas. Wait, Nurgle, no chevrons? What? Oh my god, Vinny! Vinny, oh my god. Okay, I gotta put that in the description, guys. Rem remember to chevron your units. Alright. Wait, I just got cancel? No, there we go. Alright. 
Okay, I put I added in the description. Remember to chevron your unit. So cute, so vulnerable without chevrons. Yeah, we're about to watch a lot of also have you noticed how bad the uh <laughs> I don't know if you can make that out on the stream, but that's what they look like when you when you zoom out. They turn into like weird triangles. <laughs> Little guys. Oh shit, mech! Dude, I love it when they turn into the mech. Fucking mecha nerds. Oh man, Could I, dude, I want to shake the guy's hand who did the animations. I want to find. I want to know the exact team that did the animations for the Nurglings. I want to shake their fucking hand. Cause goddamn, they did a good job. I don't go. Have you considered last man standing Lord fights? No legendary Lord. Real time alliances allowed. Ganging up allowed, etc. Um, last man standing Lord fights. So. Uh, oh wait, so like a free for all. So free for all, one v one v one. Uh, so so a four way one v one free for all, but then everybody takes a generic legendary lord. Is that what you're saying? That's interesting. I don't guys, uh, <laughs> this dude fighting with base nerglings. <laughs> I cannot believe people are still forgetting to do gold chevrons. Oh my god, the assassins are coming! I don't know why he went with. Oh wait, because it's it's. Uh, yeah, I, I would have gone with the clan Eshin colors. Okay, I think what he's gonna need to do here is Kugath's gonna have to nerf. Oh my god, he's rushing Kugath with all the assassins. No! Whip him! Gifts for the boys and a little something for you. Love hey, the videos. yo! Keep up the great work. Oh my god, Chris! <laughs> Holy shit, Chris! Are you Bill Gates? What's going on? Imagine if, like, Chris Williams was just like Mark Cuban. Just secretly Mark Cuban. Watching some B lister YouTuber like fucking C like D list YouTuber for no reason. <laughs> Holy shit, Chris. A hundred dollar dono, my god. Thank you so much, man. God damn dude. I'm I'm like I'm seriously overwhelmed, dude. I I'm I'm like Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like thank you guys. Gifts for the boys and a little for you. Love the videos, give the girl work. I absolutely will, dude. Like this is like Man, holy shit. I'm lost for words. D list? <laughs> yeah. I don't know who is richer, Chris Williams or ben Brandon Bentley? I have no idea. Oh my god! <laughs> that looked awesome! Holy shit, was that the. Hold on. What was that ability called? I didn't even know that they got that. What was that? Oh, right. Con no, not concealment bombs. What was that? That looks so fucking cool. How's Kugat holding on? Oh my god. Oh wow, my FPS. God damn. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Kugat's holding on. Dude, this, this is why Kugat's an absolute beast. Dude's still got 8,000 HP and he's at half health. These assassins ain't making a den. Even unbuff this army is strong as hell. Oh shit! They've torn straight through Queek. Verminous Valor at Okoy. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't know that um I didn't know that Assassins got Verminous Valor. They they, they don't have Verminous Valor. Concealment Moms, Skaven Brew, Assassin's Trophy, Rival High Talisman, and Slippery. So I don't, I don't know where that came from. I, th I don't know, I think a spell. Oh, maybe they have Verminous Valor on Queek? Yeah, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. Queek has it, Queek has it. Fair enough. Get him, <laughs> get her done. <laughs> Holy shit, these Assassins are just fucking completely stuck. <laughs> He's trying to just walk them through and they're going nowhere. I mean, I think there's a little bit of lag going on though, because this seems like it's all moving in slow motion. There's no way the assassins are gonna be able to chew through the uh, all of our nergs, right? Queek has it. 
pork are we getting vomited on? Oh, dude, Queek's about to get fucking sniped. In slow motion. Did they put it in slow motion? No, it's just defaulting. Throw some goop. Throw some goop. Man, it looks so whack that he's covered in blood this much. I don't know why the blood model doesn't just stop like here. Oh, he's reaching in to his present pouch. And he just gave up. Oh, never mind. Nerds. How much damage does that actually do? Dude, this lag is unbearable. Dude, that does nothing. Holy crap. That must not have a lot of armor piercing. 105? No, it's actually mostly armor piercing. And explosive. It's fucking amazing against infantry. I don't care. Special variants of units allowed, like blessed ones or electric count units. You can use any variation of unit. You just can't make a full army out of them. So, for example, if you want to use a regiment of renown, you can't make a full regiment of renown army. But you can make a full army of that unit and then have one of the regiment around of that unit type. Uh, same with, like... But, but you can have a full army of campaign units. Like, uh, campaign exclusives. Just as long as they're not sweaty. I think they're scaven. I, I think they... The fucking Nurglings are gonna win. <laughs> I think the unbuffed Nurglings are gonna win. Like I said, Nurglings are no joke, dude. It, it stands to this day as one of the strongest armies I've ever made. He looks scary as fuck. Wait, do you think like Kugath looks scary as fuck? I think I, I would say he looks scary, but then his little baby body proportions, his little round tummy, and the fact that he does like little desperate kickies as an Oh shit! That is so cool to watch. Queek with Ver dude, I wish I was watching that. God damn it. Verminous Valor, can we just get like 19 fucking units of Nurglings and then 19 chieftains with uh, Verminous Valor and just like pop it all at once. I don't know, I try the Tehanowin Skink Heroes Doomstag. Mount them on Stegalods. I mean, what, you mean for like a campaign or for this stream? Because like, that sounds extremely sweaty. <laughs> I don't know, Nurgling Doomstag sequel when? I mean, I don't think it needs a sequel, dude. Like, it's still just as strong as it was. Oh shit, the assassins have closed the gap with Okugath. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, ew! It, oh my god, he really opens his mouth. Oh. <laughs> this fight is so gross, dude. And okay, not not that is strong. That video was super fucking funny, Lamau. Oh, I mean, there'll be other good ones. There's there's plenty of armies. I mean, if Chaos Dwarf, if we get even like one fifth, like one fucking tenth of the Chaos Dwarf roster, there's there's a lot of units that we could uh, make potential videos. Would an Oxy Skink do uh, Skink stack be okay? Oxyodels, um. Uh, Chameleon Skink Doomstack is legitimately one of the strongest Doomstacks I have ever seen in the game. It is absurdly strong. It was actually so strong that all of the fights were really boring <laughs> and they were just like kiting and shooting stuff to death. Um, so I, I elected to do uh, Chameleon Skinks for my video on him when the DLC dropped for Oxyodal. Holy shit, that's pretty much it. Like they've just got like a couple of more assassins to go, but all of the ones in the center are routing. Unbelievable. I think part of the issue is Jay keeps trying to get these, uh, all these assassins to kill Kugath. He spent the whole time trying to kill Kugath, so they've just been standing here getting killed by Nurglings the entire time. And also by Kugath. <laughs> oh, fuck. I genuinely would've put money on, on assassins. I think I overestimate assassins. They're a fun unit, though. Damn it, Okoi. Why do you make this when I'm bar crawling? Wait, why? Are you on your phone watching the stream while bar crawling right now? Did 
the chevrons were just covered in Nurgle rust the entire time. I mean, they're, they might end up fucking triple gold chevron by the end of this fight. Damn, they're just not breaking. Does it feel like this fight's been going along, on for a lot longer than seven minutes? Because it feels like it. <laughs> Siege Giant Doom Stack. Dude, I wish Siege Giants were better. Hell, oh, holy shit. <laughs> 53 casualties. Dude, holy shit. Wow. The Nurgling Doom Stack absolutely dominating. Vinny taking the cake like it was fucking nothing. Jay, thank you very much for, show for stopping by, my homie. Uh, well thought out stack with the with the classic assassin stack one of my first armies that I ever made a video on when I started doing the hero doom stacks And okay thoughts on Treekin doom say oh my god um, The only thought I have about it is they're an extremely boring de unit that does like no melee damage and They're very tanky and maybe useful, but there's like better units in every other bracket and I do not like them at all <laughs> And there's one dude in my fucking Discord who's been asking for a 19 Treekin Doomstag and a Sylvania Crossbowman Doomstag for like six months or multiple years at this point. And I'm never gonna make it and he just keeps posting and it's not gonna happen and I need it to stop. And I'm going nuts. I'm gonna play a Nurgle campaign now, lol. Dude, I, I, I'm urging you, seriously, if you even if you don't enjoy Nurgle, like in their regular campaign, like I hate how Nurgle play, just build a Nurgling Doomstag. You will have no shortage of being able to recruit an infinite amount of Nurglings. And Kugath gets so many Nurglings. Like, he gets uh, buffs, sorry. He gets so many Nurgling buffs. He gets regen for them. He gets huge damage increases, missile resistance, like everything. Build a Nurgling Doomstag with Kugath. It is so strong. Uh, Edokoi, Chaos Shrine Doomstag, sweaty or nay? Uh... No, that's not sweaty. That's fucking stupid. That's like not even good. <laughs> like that'd be fun to see too because the, the thing is the AOE buffs that the 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 um that they provide, they're not actually that good in melee. Unless you I guess you unless you take the corn one, maybe the corn one's probably better in melee, I don't know, or the uh Siege ones cuz they have shields. But uh I don't think they're that OP. All right. Let's see what Levick is going to take. It looks like he's going to scave it as well. Let's see if he can get a better uh, army going than the Assassin Doom sick. Or at least a better fit for the Nurglings. I mean, what do you take out Nurglings with? Just mass explosions? What about a, a Mightier in the Cathedral Doom Stack? Jesus Christ, Dive. That's a fucking callback to a Dark Souls 3 livestream that I did years ago. Yes! Edoko, okay. Chaos. So, Tree uh, Kingdom Stack video well, when? Oh my god, Brandon. It, as soon as fucking. As soon as Chinese balloons fly over the US. <laughs> as soon as pigs fly. Drills? I don't drills. Ah, we've already had the drill stack. Come on, guys. You gotta pick it on me. Well, I mean, Levick's gotta pick it on me. I don't know. Doom Knights have seen Doom Stack win. Oh, the Doom Knights are actually pretty fucking solid, but I'm actually working on a Siege Doom Stack right now. So I probably am not gonna do back to back Siege Doom Stacks, but Doom Wheels. Uh, fuck. Uh, Doom Knights are in the cards. They got, like, the funny. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Frozone references that Treating can be made. Doom stack or I'll neglect my children. <laughs> what? Oh man, your children are gonna starve to death then, dude. <laughs> Tony, not do not jump on the fucking Treekin Doom stack. I think a lot of you <laughs> don't don't tarnish your, your me you in my eyes with, by fucking jumping on the Treekin Doom stack. Tree. Thank you for the donut, by the way. <laughs> Adoko, 19 damned paladins. Damned paladins. Oh, right, shit. The ghost paladin, the unique ghost paladin hero that uh, Silosha can recruit. I was always disappointed she couldn't recruit more of them. Uh, Levick, you, you got an army going there, bud? You ready and up? I'm gonna, I gotta put a timer on you, dude. You got like 30 seconds. I don't know if you're doing some like nitty gritty stuff, but uh, you got like 30 seconds, my guy. Or like a minute. Uh, Adoko, I give him the tree can doomstack only if he can win the entire 1v1 championship doomstack brackets with them. Fuck, dude. No. <laughs> it's not even... Because then even if he does it, I don't want to put... spend. It takes me fucking 
hours to make these videos, dude. It's like 10 hours per video. And like, and then that's not taking into account like record, like actually doing the recording. That's that it's not doing the campaign, doing the battles, like getting like like script you know scripting out the video and stuff and like the timeline and shit like that like they, there's so much that goes into making the videos i'm not doing the fucking shrieking you heard him boys cops have been using helicopters for years the treekin are coming <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay actually fucking good one. <laughs> oh wow brandon thank you for the donor brandon Things fly. All right, Levick. Levick, you got to ready up. Wallfire, Wallfire throws is actually a really good fit, man. Re but that, that's cool. Ready up, though. Come on, guys. Let's get this show on the, this row on the showed. Let's get this roll on the chode. How do I call it? Favorite doom stack in each faction? Oh, wow. Dude, that would be a good video. Favorite doom stack for each faction? That's a good video. Huh. It's bugged. Won't let him hit ready. Uh. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Um. Is it me? Did you? Did you? Is your army too expensive? Did it price out? Remember to put gold chevrons on your army too. Levick. Uh, not that it matters though right now. What is happening? What? How is that an Oakway okay moment? What? Ready button isn't working? Uh, I'll, I'm gonna have to remake the lobby. Okay, nobody join. Let Vinny rejoin and Levick rejoin, okay? Levick! The other guy join quick! Find it! Go! Go! Levick and Vinny. Let's see if we can, they can get back in. I'm gonna give them a chance to get back in at least. It's the best I can do. Oh, that's not an okay moment, man. That wasn't my fault. Oh, I fucked it up by click, 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 clicking a button. I, I, I fucked it up by sitting there and doing nothing. Oh, shit. No way. They actually got in. Wow. It was meant to be. Common Oakley L. <laughs> Common Oakley L. <laughs> my God. All right. You know what? And okay, I've been having success with the Rakoth Hoppy stack still. Yes, dude, that's another Doom stack that's fucking, that absolutely bops. Bling blow. Oh, dude. Oh my god, the dumb coy emotes in chat. <laughs> oh, man. God, the emotes are finally getting used. This is nuts. It's, I mean, there's only 112 people in chat that can do the emotes now. All right, we can start. We can finally start. Let's go. I don't care. Ready up. I am. Okay, real goober. Okay, this is just turned into everybody shit on Okoy stream again. <laughs> God damn. It's waxing the amount of people in chat being able to spam Dumbcoy now. I knew I shouldn't have put that fucking emote in. <laughs> yes! oh, please don't be your hero. Thing thou. Where the giant doom stack sat. Oh. Don't tell me they are too sweaty or we gotta talk, my friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Help, I am Passing a child five... and my dad said oh. he will keep neglecting me because some YouTuber named Okoye hasn't <laughs> made a tree in Doom's tack. I am so hungry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, mold. Keep molding, kid. You're gonna die someday. Someday soon, apparently. Nobody's feeding you. Seethe and rage. There will be no tree, tree King Doom sack today or tomorrow. Thank you for the dono, Hassi. Uh... <laughs> Where the giant doomstack set? I made a giant doomstack. If they uh, if they rebalance giants, I might make a siege giant doomstack for the ogre kingdoms though. 
Thank you for the dono, Okoy's Discord kitten. I forgot you had that name and I regret reading that out. <laughs> Thank you for the dono, though. At Okoy, if those wolf eye throwers aren't Chevron, I'm going to find him and eat his kidneys. Dude. Nope, they're Chevron. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. 72 ammunition? What the fuck? What? Is that normal? 72 ammunition. Also, um, it looks like... Uh, Vinny remembered to chevron up his Nurglings. So here we go. Warfire Throwers. Which are essentially, in my opinion, just cooler looking versions of Iron Drakes. Like, there's, first of all, there's two of them. Second of all, look at their cute little uh, run animations. Look at them jittering. Look at them wobble. <laughs> okay, that's been sped up too much. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's Kugath, right. I was like, since when are Nurglings ranged? Here we go. Can he close the distance? It looks like he's... For some reason, he's checkerboarding with Nurglings. Now, Nurglings are very resilient, so it, maybe they can pull out ahead in this fight. It could claw coming through on his... Yeah, Doom Flare. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Yet. Not the boys! My beautiful boys! Finally. Holy my shit. My remote spamming has an audience and the waves <laughs> of my insanity have rolled into a tsunami. I am the Lorax. I speak for the tree. <laughs> oh my god, what are these fucking donos? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, eat Warfire even looks like just a cooler green fire. Like, literally. Uh, what, what are better, Warp Fire Throws or, um, or Iron Drakes? Brandon Bradley with, with a $5 to find them my most playing as an audience. <laughs> the Lorax. The tree. Oh my god, the tree spam. I don't know, you must answer this. When we, Will the body pillow be here? I might, I mean, if I could get away with it legally, I would release a Grease's uh, Gold Tooth body pillow. Or at least an Ogre body pillow. People get away with some whack shit, though. Uh, I, oh yeah, Tony, uh, Tony Knight with a uh, five dollar. Do to get back in your room? He hasn't released the Tree King video yet. <laughs> You're gonna be waiting for all eternity for that shit. There's no way, dude. The Nurglings, the Nurgs are getting just melted, just utterly melted. How long did they? Okay, I, ew, that is a really ugly texture bug. I wonder how long it'll take them to take down Kugath. Oh shit, here it comes! Oh my god, Kugath, no! Oh god! Imagine the smell! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, imagine the fucking smell right now, dude. <laughs> His animations as he gets like hit by waves of fire. Holy shit, his HP is just slowly ticking down. Wow. Oh, good God. And... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck. Wow, I just... <laughs> Holy shit. Damn those load times, though. Well, that was nuts. What is this, Adokoi? I get that you didn't try hard... To get me back since I tried once, but that was fighting. It got screwed. The hell did I didn't. They didn't have guaranteed spots back. I just said like, join if you can get in. Just try and get in quickly. Nobody else joined, and they managed to click in time. Adokoi, I think that the Wi-Fi may have been a bit effective. <laughs> you don't say, dude. It was more effective than the Iron Drakes, and they have way less armor than the Iron Drakes. Those Nurglings they... health bar oh. was my brain after midterms. <laughs> Thank you for the dono, Rafe. Yes! Dude, oh my god. The idea of doing any kind of serious Be studying is terrifying editing. to me. Video tree can need we. We. Use the feeding tube. What? Add moo, add moo, add moo, moo, hunch. <laughs> Riverbank, what the fuck was that dono? <laughs> Wait, is that backwards? Video tree can need we. So you, you, you put it 
Okay, you put the wrong. You put it the wrong. That's so confusing. Why would you? This is. Uh, I'm moving on. When the last bit is, whom? No, that's nothing. <laughs> I tried reading the last bit backwards. It's nothing. Thanks for the donos, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, I could have joined before they did, but I let them because Okoy is word. Damn. It's never the end. Oh shit, somebody coming in with a Siege Doom stack. Dude, is that, that, okay, that's a, a thing actually. As much as I, I, dude, I love Skaven. I love green skins. I love, you know, all that shit. Also, nobody took an, has taken an Ogre Doom stack. I'm very disappointed in all of you who've joined so far. Not, not that I'm saying the next person joined pick an Ogre Doom stack. I'm just saying, a little disappointed. I mean, for obvious reasons. But, like, it's nice seeing some people not playing the factions that everybody plays. You know what I mean? But, that being said, he has taken an iridescent horror doom stack. <laughs> a village iridescent horror doom stack? Dude, this guy's going full chicken fetus. Wait, I, okay, hold on though, because don't they all have locus of change? I let me go dude, I hate that shit. That is let me click on that. Okay, this may be a little bit scuffed. <laughs> I just I, they all have magic. They have they all have locus of change. Okay, this is uh I feel like if if Vill okay okay all I want to say is it's never the end. You're not allowed to cast spells. You can only use bound spells. Like you're not allowed to use like big damaging spells that will change the course of a battle based on not the units. If you know what I mean. So bear that in mind if you are gonna play that doomstack. Okay. You're not allowed to use like damaging spells. Nobody else has used damaging spells thus far. It it undermines the uh, the the doomstacks because you can just like. You could just like take a super powerful caster and you could basically take exactly what you've taken but then just use spells and win like to nine times out of ten and okay are they on discs the whole all of them are on discs 105 speed they are all on discs <laughs> fucking disc boys smh he didn't even chevron the heroes you can't chevron heroes dude i mean you probably know that I don't know, too bad he has like no wins of magic because it's a custom game. So no ridiculous uh, max wins memory. It's not about max wins. They increase the pot. Wait, is it is it wins of magic regen or is it damage? No, the damage is a trait in <coughs> in the campaign. Actually, never mind. I think we're good. Our spells on units brackets not lords or heroes fine. Yeah. So if you take Zotes. If you took uh, if you took a Zot Doomstack, for example, and you they all cast like lightning bolts and shit, that's totally fine. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, all of these chicken these floating chicken fetuses. This is the guy, by the way, that we were all hearing come for like. Oh no, wait, no, it's not. That's the Bird Lord version. So there's there's a uh, a, a Lord variant, a generic Lord variant of these guys, but they have a beak and they have like some some feathers and shit, and they're like blue. Uh, that's who keeps saying, oh, yes, <laughs> that's who you were hearing coming during all of the memberships. Coatl Doomstack. Dude, I, oh my god, I made a Coatl Doomstack in a co-op campaign a while ago. It is so ridiculous. If you're playing as, um, Tic-Tac-Toe, you can, you can get them to the point where you can have a full Coatl Doomstack for free. For free! A free army of 19 Coatls. It was ludicrously OP. Coatl is so OP. Yeah, fucking Tic-Tac-Toe's Coatl Doomstack is OP. It was free. He gets minus 50% upkeep for Coatls. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Is this a stalemate or are they lagging? Dude, Village is so cool. Look at this chunky man. Oh my god, you know what? I'm getting PTSD from the mod that I made of Village where I put hair on, on the uh, Cursling. I gave the Cursling hair, eyes, a nose. It was awful. It was so awful. Oh! Oh, not getting the fucking- Oh, he's going into melee, though! I would have harmed the Iridescent Horrors around in range. Oh, they're actually not bad in melee. 30-30 with 336 weapon strength. Dude, how do you counter this army, though? Even if you go with a super, super powerful ranged doomsday, how do you actually counter the iridescent horror doomsday? I, I'm actually curious, like, how would we counter this? 
but fire leech bolas. For, oh, dude, 19 fire leech bolas is actually so good against infantry. It's so strong. 19 blessed fire leech bolas with the triple gold chevron and all of the army buffs is just insane against infantry. Adokai, doesn't this uh, dooms doesn't this doomsday kind of heavily underperform compared to their campaign potential? I mean, Aerial Lord have red line and Buster doomsday. This is not if this is not a hero doomsday. Yeah, I mean, like that's what I mean. That's why I'm kind of allowing it because it's actually not that strong. Like you could, if you took, um, you know, like a, a beast of Nurgle doomsday would fuck these guys up unless you just kited like a big loser. You know, if you just like sat back at range kiting the whole time, you'd probably win. Oh, oh, doing some damage though. Some of the chickens are getting melted. Oh, good God. It's not gonna be enough. He's just got, he's, oh wait, maybe. I don't know. No, 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 no. They, I mean, I'm pretty, like, there's no way. There's no way. They were just as are gonna win, but. Flame, wolf? I, I mean, I avoid flamethrower units like the fucking plague because I always seem to either shoot my own guys uh, not be able to get them into the flank or they just don't shoot at all they shoot over my guys and kill them or they just do a super underwhelming amount of damage or get shot by enemy ranged troops before they can get in combat so I just take better troops like different troops apparently they're worth it did they improve the line of sight for, for flamethrower units I, I want to say that was in a patch a while ago they improved their targeting and stuff they seem to actually be able to shoot reasonably accurately now NyQuil, <laughs> NyQuil chicken. I don't call it. You beat them with breading and fry oil. <laughs> ah, good old chicken fetuses. Do you think um the Cathayans see uh, iridescent horrors as delicacies? <laughs> that, was, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> I love your VTuber in the bottom left. Uh, that's just my webcam, dude. And okay, I like my chicken medium, medium rare. All right, enjoy your salmonella and imminent death, dude. Enjoy your raw chicken uh, salmonella gut pain and then death. And okay, just look at, just look at that monkey. What, wait, what? Oh. I don't know. Is 11 units considered a doomsday? No, 19 units is considered a doomsday, but I'm not going to punish. I'm not going to say you can't take less than 19 units. If you want to take like just the Lord, you can, but you'll probably lose. Chicken sushi. Dude, do you think so? Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. They won. Damn. The leadership broke. I mean... I can't say I didn't expect that from the little pink fetuses of death and doom, but there you go. Now somebody has the opportunity to counterpick them. Well fought Levick, a, a tremendously good positioning in the previous battle. I did not expect them to win. Wait, what did they fight? I've completely blown out. I, oh yeah, Nurglings. Yeah, I knew I thought they were going to beat the Nurglings to be honest. Still, well fought. Let's see who else can move in. Maybe nobody joined except that one guy who lost connection or some shit. Was it old man Larry? Or is old man Larry just rejoining again for like the third time? Guys, has old man Larry joined like three times? Has this guy got fucking dementia? <laughs> has this guy got Alzheimer's? He's like, all right, my first game. That's <laughs> like, oh, that was sad. Yeah, no, he's been at like three times, right? Has anyone done the med, med doomstack yet? Med doomstack? No, I got a connection fuck up. Oh, so Chu Johnson, are you old man Larry? Ah, whatever. Not letting other people in. He's an old man, don't flame him. Do you guys think I should kick him and let somebody else in who hasn't played yet? Because I think this guy's been like in a couple of times, right? That's fair, I think. We'll get somebody new in or, or somebody that's been trying to join for a while. Old man Larry, you've had quite a few games now, son. He just wants to play with his grandson, Okoy. <laughs> That's my granddad. Man, that'd be crazy, because they're both dead. 
I don't go away. That's elder abuse. I mean, you know, Rusoro. Man, that, I, that rings a bell. This guy was in the last stream. No, don't kick. I mean, chat is so green today. What the fuck? <laughs> no, dude, it's because we've had 112 memberships gifted uh, by absolute fucking homies in chat. The boys. Fucking man. Yeah, 112 memberships, by the way. Oh, the absolute Chads. The, 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 the Chad trio. Damn, missed it. Yeah. Fucking crazy. <laughs> That's actually so crazy. Oh, shit. Okay. Same Doomstack. Okay, so Rooster is going to try and counter this with Lizard, man. Interesting tactic. I'm very worried that this is going to go into that elevating territory of doomstacks where it just becomes like stronger and stronger top trumps where it's just this guy took an entire doomstack of siege chicken things right so now what what do we do oh let's take an entire doomstack of like fucking i don't know sora ska veterans and then it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger And okay, I'll take him back to the settlement facility. Sorry, he keeps getting out. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, that's so sad. Alright, so. It's going to be the chicken fetus doomstack versus a full Saurus warrior doomstack with triple gold chevrons. Okay, so this sounds OP. And it kind of is. But there are tier 2 silver unit and it's led by Krokar. It's thematic. It's not, not allowed though. The big butt? <laughs> what is this map name? The big butt? Look at all the rocks and impassable terrain. What are these cool fucking maps? Is this quest battle? No, it's just a Badlands map. I have never in my fucking life done this map. You guys gotta re-ready up by the way, because I changed the map. I have never fucking done this map in my life, and I already like the look of it. Like, look at the amount of impassable terrain on this map, and the funny name and the cool, like, image? Where are the well where, where are these good maps when I'm doing my fucking campaigns? I swear to god, I have like the same three maps. It'd be that like when I'm streaming campaigns, when I'm doing campaigns on my own time. I feel like there's like three fucking maps. Maybe I just don't play characters in specific parts of the map. And okay, it's pronounced butte. Nah, it's butt. Is War Compass stack considered too strong? No. <laughs> what? War Compasses are super weak. They have um, spells, though. They have bound spells, so maybe that'll be strong. But if you're going up against a Hero Doom stack or a Single Entity Doom stack or a Cav Doom stack or, I don't know, something like that, or a Monstrous Infantry Doom stack, suddenly it's not so strong. But if you're fighting an, an Infantry Doom stack, it's going to be real fucking strong. It's going to be real, real strong. Okay, loves big butts and he cannot lie. Everybody loves big butts and they can't lie. Everybody loves big butts, but they lie frequently. That's because you always start in the goddamn dark lines as ogres or tretch. <laughs> I only play tretch for stream. And I do play ogres a lot, but I like ogres. And also I like Cathay, and also I like Ghost. So a lot of those are kind of in the same region of the map. So fair enough. Touché. Adokoi, is man eater pistols too strong? Yeah, that's too strong. Adokoi, can you add your voice to an, an ogre in game? I must hear you laugh while you kill Noblas. Dude, I, I wanted to add in um, custom audio files in for my Warhammer 2 mod when I, when I uh, worked with a bunch of modders to make Ogre Koi for Warhammer 2. And, uh. Yes! Uh, Touch the butte. Oh fuck! You, you you can't add in custom voice files. The game doesn't allow it. There's no there's no software. There's no there's no ability to put custom voice files into the into the game. You can only reuse files that are already in the game. Saurus Warriors could win this. I mean, Iridescent Horrors are not good in melee. He's not allowed to use uh, his magic. So unless it's a bound spell. Is a Waystalker Doomstack too strong? I think so. Waystalkers are the uh, heroes, right? That sounds too strong to me. 
But it depends what they're mounted on. If they're all on foot, nah, because then they'll just get countered by something else. Adoka, I don't like big butts and all I do is lie. <laughs> Adoka, what's your favorite doomsday? Dude, that's such a big question. I've made so many and I've done so many videos on them. Like, it's so hard to choose. I have like maybe like a top five or ten that were just fun. I made a, a, a video about it, but there, it's like a super old video, so I've made more fun ones that would definitely be on the list since then. 19 Nurglings was an absolute blast. 19 Skull Cannons were super fun. 19 Iron Blasters was just really fun. 19 Lead Belchers was super fun. 19 Fire Bellies was super fun. Dude, they're just really fun. A lot of them are fun. I don't really have a favorite. Just a lot of them are really, really good. Dude, oh wow. They're actually getting just chewed up. Is he just gonna sit in the sky and pelt him with fucking iridescent horrors? Dude, you gotta get into melee combat. You can't just sit in the sky raining down pink. Damn, they're actually chewing up Eunice. Oh. OMFG Okoi, there is a legit a waiting room lobby in multiplayer. Wait, like a lobby in like You know, dude, I wish it was like Shogun 2 where you could have those like waiting room things in the bottom left Like where the, you know, like the one where they're called like uh, Hot Ashigaru sex chat like in Shogun 2. I was always in the in the Ashigaru sex chat. Adokoi, what is the restrictions here except from not the use not use the Lord and 19 same units? Uh there are all the rules are in the description. Adokoi, typical siege tactics. Yeah, the only difference here is that they would like you would charge in, smash them about a little bit, then immediately leave, fly off, regen your shield, and rinse and repeat. Oh my god, Village is like hiding in the fucking corner. <laughs> oh my. Is he trying to intimidate him with spells? <laughs> He's like, don't come over here! I've got all these spells that I can't use! My favorite Doomstag is 19 Chieftains and a Warlock Master Flensing Ruined Blob into GG. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty good uh, thing is though, like... The the chief of the stack is great because they get the um, thing that uh, that gives ward save and then if you get the ward save stack on a legendary log like I had um, in my 19 chief save video I had um, Queek with I think 95% ward save he was basically invincible God damn who wins this fight? Probably Krokar, right? Yeah, Krokar's just got way more weapon strength. More weapon strength, more armor. Slightly better leadership. Better, better melee attack, worse melee defense, though. And also, Village has that shield. Oh, man. Oh, well, at least he's putting some of them into melee combat, but I'm pretty sure that's just bait. I don't quite thanks, but what? But that is sweaty. Are you asking me what a sweaty doomstack? A sweaty doomstack is like this. <laughs> it's this kind of a little bit. You see, if he was using them all in melee, I would I would call this way less sweaty. But he just keeps diving them. Holy shit! Look at these absolute rambunctious men. Whoa. Whoa, dude, the animations. Hey, yo. Okay, the iridescent horror animations are way better than I thought they would be in melee. He does a fucking kickflip and then does an explosion. Fucking wild! They're out of ammo? Yeah, I know that's the only reason he's getting them to melee. I'm aware of that. Who's winning this fight over here? Oh, he, he retreated. 
He got a croc card on a half HP though. That's pretty insane. Oh, I want to see more of these fucking kickflips. That is red. Holy <laughs> shit! Dude, iridescent horrors on discs are fun to watch in melee. Who would have thought? We got hops for days. How they doing? Did she see the shields are barely being penetrated? This is truly radical. Whoa. This is rad. Hashtag ban him. <laughs> oh shit, they both fast forwarded it. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the Saurus are gonna win. They just gotta chew through them. If the. Okay, if the Iridescent Horus can regenerate their shields fast enough, they'll win. But there's just so much Saurus. And now there's Krokkar here. This is really laggy. Really? It's fine for me. I'm running, uh... You can see my frame. If you look really closely, you can see my frames in the top left. I'm running 60 FPS right now. Like 59, 60 FPS. I don't call it. Village is using magic. Every time he casts, he gets ward save. Oh, that's... I don't give a fuck about that. He just don't... You just can't cast it to, like, kill troops and shit. Because then it detracts from the, uh... The legendary... The, the lord that you're playing. Because then you could just take a mage lord and then, like, an army of dudes that, like... To just, like, keep the mage guarded. And then just... If it's an infantry doom stack, you can, like, counterpick. Like, super hard. And, like, win everything. Adokoi, who wins in a fight? 30 regiments of Skaven slaves or one stone horn? Ooh, 30 units of Skaven slaves or one stone horn. Okay, the reason I'm even like pausing on that. Oh shit, all right, Lizardman won, there you go. Didn't even need to reset. All right, who the fuck's gonna counter this infantry doom stack though? Thing is, if he was allowed to use spells there, he would have absolutely beaten, the, clapped the fucking cheeks of that Lizardman army. But he wasn't allowed. I, I think I put my money on the stone on just because Skaven Slaves are so useless. But 30 units of Skaven Slaves might be able to slowly whittle down the stone horn long, like long enough to kill it or at least to rout it. Adokai, who will win? The strongest Skaven or the weakest Ogre? In a one-on-one -on -one fight, definitely still the Skaven. Like, what? Some Skaven are super strong, what do you mean? There's like, a mutant, mutant rat ogres are technically Skaven? I'm pretty sure a help of an abomination is like, it's like 50 Skaven stitched together. Adokoi, is my army too sweaty? I will check your army before we start, don't worry. Holy shit, no one fucks like Gaston. No one builds like Gaston. So, it's the 19 Saurus Warrior Gold Chevron Doomstack versus Gaston's Exalted Hero of Con. Did you seriously just ask if that is sweaty in chat? Did you really just try and ask me if the Valkyrie Exalted Hero of Con Doomstack is sweaty? No fucking way did you actually need to ask me that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yes, that's sweaty. They're, they cost 1700 each. This guy's bringing a thousand with gold chevrons. And they're tier 2 infantry. That's crazy. Take whatever you want, from whatever faction you want, just, you should know that that's sweaty, Gaston. Lolo, okay, I can change. <laughs> the dumb coins in chat. Yes, dumb coins, but not aimed at me! What? 
Alt alternate existence? What fucking plane are we living on? Let's see what he uh, trades up to. Ska another Skaven? Damn, people fucking love Skaven, dude. I mean, I cannot blame you for Skaven are pretty based. Damn, I'm so sad I can't see the matches at the moment. What? How come? Oh, like you can't see the lobby? Like the Okoi lobby? Okoi, are you still on Okoi moments 14? Oh, well, I haven't had any more Okoi moments since the 14th one? Dude, new record. At Okoi, in before he trades them all for out for Bloodthirsters. <laughs> oh yeah, Skaven Bloodthirsters. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Just ready up when you're ready, Gaston. Or I'll, uh, I'll, uh, tell Bucket, what's his name? Beast? I got nothing. Dude, I've never seen Beauty and the Beast. Is that a good movie? I like Gaston. I want to watch it just because of Gaston. He seems like a fucking funny dude. I like the memes. I like the Gaston memes. There's a lot of Disney movies I haven't seen. Is 19 Mongols sweaty? Uh, 19 Mongols, no. 19 Mongol Haunters, yes. The heroes, yes. The infantry, the regular ass infantry, nah, that's not sweaty. You can totally beat that. All right, so Gaston is going to be bringing in the a Death Runner Doom stack. Interesting choice because they have. Weeping Blade to cut down on armor. They're not anti- Wait, are they anti-infantry? They might be anti-infantry. Either way, that's actually a pretty goddamn close fight, and I'm super curious to see how that goes. All right, I'm gonna have to change the map, too. Oh, that's a- Dude, look at this map! What's with these fucking cool maps? I just want to make sure they're both chevroned up. Yes? All right, Rosara, you got to re-ready up, my dude. Adokoi, is 19 of those mega cannons from the Vampire Coast sweaty? What the fuck do you think? <laughs> nah, that's not sweaty. They, they're they really fucking stupidly strong, but they're also a regiment of renown, so you can only have one of them. That, which kind of disqualifies it, because you're not you, you, that you know, you can't do that. Whose quest battle is this? This is a Lizardman one? The Frozen Falls. Oh, wait, is this like Kislev? Oh, wait, isn't this um, the Boris quest battle? Yeah, this is the, the Boris quest battle, right? Where you unlock Boris? Yeah, free Boris. Yeah, yeah I remember, I remember. I reached out to another content creator to give me a save file so I didn't have to play through a, a uh, full campaign to unlock him. I wanted to use him for the bear uh, video. So really, I, I wouldn't have been able to make that video if I think Zerkovic or Samurai Warrior or Linksy. Somebody gave me a, a uh, save file. Oh my god, Oko cheated. Yeah, I did. I, I cheated to unlock Boris. Will you be doing 2v2s or 3v3s this stream? Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about that. Tony Knot. With a two dollar donor. Yeah, thank you for the donor, my dude. Um, I... Yeah, we could do a couple to close out the stream. How about we do, uh, after this battle, we'll do, um... A couple of 2v2s. But I will, I will check the armies, and if it's obvious that one team is gonna win, and then we'll make them swap. So at least it's a fair fight and not just like a super sweaty, like slog of a fight. Holy shit. The Saurus are coming in. What the fuck was that projectile? Eat Wolfstone and cast back. Shoot, shoot, far away. I downloaded the files to unlock every Medieval 2 Faction 2. You don't need to download files. You just need to add, like, put their shit in a, in a uh, Word document. A, a notepad document. You just added the uh, notepad document. You add faction names to the unlocked factions list. And that's all you needed to do. I wouldn't know, though, as I unlocked all of the Medieval 2 Factions legitimately and didn't cheat by putting all of the names into a notepad file. You cannot prove anything. 
I don't quite how sweaty on a scale of Tretch to Nurglings is the Necrofex Colossus Doomsday. The Necrofex Colossus Doomsday is fucking ridiculously strong. It is possibly one of, if not the strongest Doomsday in the entire game. It is incredible at ranged, incredible at melee, good melee uh, uh, missile resistance, good in sieges, good in long range battles, good in like close range skirmishes, good in drawn out combat. There is almost nothing that a Necrofex Colossus Doomsday cannot do. They are an absurdly strong army. And cheap, exactly. If you're playing as um, Count Nocti, you can get one a, a solid full stack of uh, of those guys for very cheap. Dude, the wraparound technique with Gaston. Look at this shit. Coming into a tactical surround from all corners of the map and the trees to wrap around the Soros. This is cinematic as fuck. 19 Way Watchers? Dude, 19 Way Watchers would be such a pain in the ass to watch. Jeffrey Damore with a $5 donut. Crushing it today, baby. Glad I caught a stream. Hey, thank you, my dude. This has been a fucking blast of a stream. Most members I've ever had for the entire stream, for the entire length of the channel's existence, in a single stream. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. That's more members than the stream, than the, this channel has ever had by, like, fucking 10 times the usual amount. And it happened in a single stream. And the donos have been fucking insane. Chris Williams, fucking uh, Brandon, and fuck, what's his name? Nodley? Nodley? Something like that? Fuck. Thank you for the donos again, by the way, guys. I can't honestly kind of thank you guys enough for all that shit. I don't quite. What about a doomstack of 20 Malice Dark Blades? I think the, that, that doomstack is so edgy that the enemy might cringe to death. It's escape and ambush. Dude, the full wraparound. I still think that the uh, Saurus are going to win this. They've, they've got better base melee stats. They've got more weapon strength by 20, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that is a lot. Oh, World of Weeping Blades on the Deathmaster. Dude, I fucking love Snitch. He's so cool. His, his animations are so bitching, too. Do the cool flippy boy thing. Oh. Crushing it today, BB. Glad I caught a stream. What that tail do? Is he just doing like like doing a back and forth? Sacred spawning of of Sotal. Vigor reduction minus one percent, twenty percent physical uh, damage distance. God damn. I, I may have spoke too soon. The Soros warriors are getting absolutely balked. They're all blessed as well. Wait. Oh no, he only. Oh, dude, this guy's based. He only took one blessed Soros uh, warrior unit instead of taking like a full army of blessed. That's fucking. That's actually so noble. Adokoi, thoughts on Scarbrand and 19 Blood Reapers. I, if I was going to do a 19 Blood Reaper Doomsday, I would uh, have the army led by a Blood Reaper as well. Because then you can just do 20 Blood Reapers. And I know it's a little bit more of a generic lore and he's not as strong, but like, it's way more thematic if you just have 20 of them, right? So I, I would take the the uh, Lord variant of the of the um, Blood Reapers. But regardless, probably a really goddamn strong army. Dude, the, f the Death Rotors are doing great. Complains that Malice is cringe, but the Weave Ninja called the Death Master is not. He's a fucking, like, raggedy rat man with three knives, and he's carrying a, a knife with his fucking tail. How is that edgy? What do you mean? How can a, a, a goofy little adorable rat man be edgy? Look at his little adorable pumped head. His little hobo pants. His little butt knife. Hey yo! Snitch cringe? What? That's very edgy, lots of edges. That's not edgy. Malice is edgy. Malekith is edgy. The Dark Elves are edgy, <laughs> just in general. Oh, god damn. 
the fucking cast down the flanks of the rats. My god. This is not a great position for the Saurus, but they're doing great. I don't. It seems like the Saurus are losing, though. At least judging by the balance of power. It's also weird seeing that the lizard men started off with like 600 more troops than <laughs> the Skaven. Very weird. I don't quite Chris did it again. Oh shit! Oh my god, I thought I could hear like more siege coming. Chris Williams with another 10 gifted. Holy fucking shit, dude. Chris, my god. You have to chill, man. King. You gotta pump the brakes. I appreciate it more than you can possibly know, but my god, man. You gotta pay, take care of your wallet and take care of yourself. Chris is so fucking based. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, man. Make sure you thank uh, Chris if you got a don a, uh, a, <coughs> a membership from him. I don't know. I wish CA can sneak you in as a legendary lord whose special skill is can boost units if surrounded by the exact same units and call it Doom Maker or some stupid shit. <laughs> that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Man. Dude, I think the most I could possibly hope for would be a tiny, 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 vague mention. Like, an indirect mention in, like, a flavor text in the description of, like, an ogre unit in a DLC, maybe. Like, that's the best I could possibly hope for, I think. Even then, I would be fucking ecstatic with that, though. Can you even imagine? Thoughts on the McDonald's Mac Tonight commercial? What? McDonald's Mac Tonight commercial. Is it, like, racist or something? Like, wh why is this significant? Oh my god, the Moon Man thing? <laughs> Moon Man? Dude, all I remember about Moon Man is there was like a meme where people started dubbing over his voice with like an auto, with like a robot voice that was super racist. That's all I remember about Moon Man. And it became like a character. God damn. Okay, it would be a Noblar head honcho. Dude, if I could get a flavor tag. Dude, I, I wish the CA would let me go in and voice a, uh, a head honcho. Like, I would do it for free, dude. I would do it for fucking free. I would, I would like, pay the money to travel to the south of England, like, fucking 50 miles or whatever, to, uh, ju to, to, to voice, like, three lions of our Noblar head honcho. That would be fucking awesome. Holy shit. I cannot believe the Death Runners actually won that fight. I, like, I completely thought the Soros Warriors were going to take that. I guess the reduction in armor really turned the tides there. But I thought that the superior melee defense, attack, and weapon strength, and unit size of the Lizardmen would easily have uh, made them win that. That's crazy. Uh, also, Snicks kind of carried with 24,000 damage, but there you go. Damn, well fought. Gaston, taking, snatching it away from Rosaro with the Skaven, well fought. Good fight. Alright, let's uh, scramble the map. <clears throat> and, uh, what do you guys think? Should we do uh, one more... But you know what, actually, you know, because uh, he won and he, he upset, it made an upset, let's, uh, let's get those 2v2s going. It's 2v2 time. I will check the armies before we start. Hopefully it won't be laggy. If you're, if you're gonna join, by the way, please don't join if you have super shitty internet, please. For your sake and for our sake, please don't join if you have bad internet, please. Or if you're connecting from somewhere that's very far away from the US or the UK. Like if you're in like Australia, just just take the L for this. Take the miss on this. You can join one of Legends like streams or some shit. <laughs> like we need we need this to not lag. Ayo, the stream's still going. We do we we've been going for the long haul. Wait, wait, three, five fucking three hours? Yeah, three hours. That's a reasonable... Like, usually this is about when I would end the stream. We're still going, though. Fuck that. Okoy the Ogre Lord, notorious for leading armies of Noblar to raid the lands of China. 
Oh man. Yeah, I like it. Maybe with a slightly racist accent. Oh, you're all for the Noblar? What would the Noblar accent be though? How can you have a racist Noblar accent? They don't sound like anything. Oh my fucking god. Freddy with a sec. That's. See, that's Swedish Krona, right? Am I right? 270 Swedish Krona? Holy shit. Here's an hour worth of my life. Use it wisely. You earned that in an hour? Holy shit. You were, dude, you're on 21 pounds an hour? That's crazy. Like, dude, I, that, that's probably normal for, like, functional people. When I had a, a day an job, dude... Worth of my life. Use it wisely. That, dude, that, seriously, that's crazy. That equals out at, like, if that's your hourly wage... Like, thank you for the donut. If that's your Everyone hourly wage, that's way more than I've ever earned in my life. slash paid off by the Rothschilds, and I will be reporting you to Gabe Newell. <laughs> Tony, no, with a five dollar dono. Thank you, my dude. <laughs> That's fine. You, hopefully, you'll get in. You, you, you just, I've just doubled your chances of getting into the lobby, though. So maybe you'll get in for one of these two v twos, and hopefully, you have a, uh, you have good internet. I don't know. I don't think I can ready up. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. Is it a glitch again? Oh man. Oh, for god damn it. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo the session, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, guys. If you just got booted out, try and rejoin. Session straight back up. Just try and rejoin. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Oh, man. Dude, that fucking bug sucks. Because people get in, they're like relieved and excited, and then I just have to ruin it. Ugh. Oh my god, it's all new people too. Oh, oh man. I feel bad. Oh, you guys better have good internet. If you guys sniped into this fucking lobby and you don't have good internet and you're not connecting from somewhere where you're gonna have like a decent amount of latency, like a de decently low amount of latency, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you're gonna get a stern talking to, young man. Boot them. I was in the lobby, fuck. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. I'll be doing more of these, guys. Don't worry about it. I will definitely be doing more of these 1v1 and 2v2 doomstacks and stuff. I might just host one that's... Like, if this goes well, I'll just host one that's like a 2v2 doomstack dedicated. Or we'll do 3v3s or something mad. Or I'll do, like, um... I'll do uh, a 1v1 doomstacks, but only tier 1 units. Tier 1 doomstacks, 1v1, something like that. I hope to get in, but if never you guys... actually make it as the Og patron. Moose oh, will man. never know rest. I am the scourge <laughs> on the underbelly. I'm sorry, Brandon, buddy. I'm sorry, my dude. Thank you for the donut, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I wish I had, I could, like, cherry pick, but, like, I can, I could just, like, only leave it open. But I will do more streams. So if you show up for more streams, you're more likely to get it. Also, if you have any good ideas for twists on this, like, different types of things, like, tier one doomstacks only, or, uh, single entity doomstacks only, or, like, whatever. If you can think of any, or, uh, we could do, fuck, what's it called? Um, uh, fuck. What's that game mode called? Uh, command sub commanders. I was thinking of doing a sub commanders stream where you take f like each so it's 3v3 each player takes five units uh, One player takes five melee units one player takes five range units and the other one takes five cav or monstrous infantry units, right? And then you like they control those three things to make up a full army and then, and then it's three aside So we I, I was thinking of hosting sub commanders a 1v1. Yeah, 3v3 is possible. But yeah, if you have any ideas for that kind of stuff, join my Discord in the description. There, and then, you know, throw your shit in the video suggestions channel. Also, yeah, I never shout out the Discord, but Discord in the description. I'm active there all the time. If, like, you can ask questions. You can put suggestions in the video suggestions chat. Like, all that good shit. All right. Everybody seems to be able to ready up. Let's check the armies. Oh, my God. Flopper Gaming, I don't even, I don't know how many, I, how is this not a try hard dude's thing? Flopper Gaming, man. Uh, are you trying to sneak a Gotrek, unbreakable Gotrek doomstack past me? You absolute madman. Oh my god, guys! 
Oh my god. Okay, so Thumb took a wall wagon new stack. So great. All right, you got one more chance, boys. All right, okay, okay. We're at a point in the stream now where you should know what's fucking sweaty and what's not sweaty. Kick, kick. All right, that's it. Okay, right. That's it. Oh, the chances are gone. If you take a sweaty doom stack, you're getting the boot. You're getting the big old sweaty boot. Thom got the right idea with a fucking based war wagon doom stack, which is, uh, you know, arguably a little bit like fucking cracked because they're so strong but it's still a tier two unit it's not op you can easily counter it with like fast cav or some bullshit but i've kind of ruined it now because you know what it is so you can counter pick it so which which is fucking scuffed you might have to change your army thumb i think i've ruined it because <laughs> now they have to change one out of four of these guys was based unbelievable Okay, another nerdling news tag, but led by the Demon Prince. A Marcus Wolfhart army of war wagons versus a full deck drummer dropper bomber doom stack and a great O'Reilly. God, okay, you went so in the opposite direction, I don't even know what to say. You, you went completely the opposite direction. I was like, okay. I mean, we can play this, but I know we know, like, the, okay, fuck it. Like, just why not? I, we know how this is gonna go. <laughs> Holy shit. I, there's such a, a massive divide between a 19 Gotrex Doomstack and a 19 Grail Relic Doomstack. The difference is just uncanny. He didn't even take the Lady of the Fae. Like, the, the Fae Enchantress. Okay, this will be a meme. I mean, what would have been a meme would be like the four most useless armies humanly possible. Like four Grail Relics versus four... Uh... Artillery crews in melee combat versus you know what I mean? Just like just a bunch of shit <laughs> like four shit armies Versus peasant archers in melee versus Skaven slave slingers in melee <laughs> Who would win? Oh, I just had a good idea. What about uh, Doomstack free-for-alls with four people, but I spectate Dude, that sounds fucking fun. I could do that next stream. How about that? I, I instead of a 2v2s, it could just be a 1v1v1v1. Last man standing. I said it. Oh shit, well somebody already said it. That sounds like fucking that sounds like a blast. Adoka, can your computer handle that lol? Yeah, dude, I have a fucking ridiculous computer. Apparently, uh, Sayako BA said it first, but there you go. Plagiarism. I did not see that you suggested that. No one would attack? Okay. But then, chat's gonna call him a, a big gaping pussy, so... <laughs> the flashbacks are real. They're such a funny unit. You know, like, just the fake horse with the bells on it and stuff. So we got deck droppers that suck. De deck droppers are terrible. This is so one-sided. It's not. <laughs> he has a demon prince too. I also suggested too. vanguard deployment only armies. Vanguard deployment only armies. You see, you mean like only units that can vanguard deploy? That's like maybe. And okay, moment number forty-seven. <laughs> what do you mean? What did I do? Chance of the lady. I mean, it's pretty obvious who's gonna win this. Like. I'm pretty sure just half the army of war wagons could win this fight. Oh god, judging by the lag, this is not gonna go well. We might be in for another slow mo, another slow mo fight, boys. Adokoi, can we put a temporary ban on flying units? Why? I have no problem with flying units. Flying units are fine. 
I'd probably have a problem if they were taking like OP flying units, but like 19 great eagles, like deck droppers aren't exactly strong, you know? <laughs> they're they're not very strong. Everybody seems afraid to ready up. Okay, thoughts on faction abilities like Korn's sword. Uh, I like it. Korn don't get a lot of um, magic, so to have that one ability to work up to, to be able to just ruin giant blobs of infantry or uh, Pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Why? Uh, oh, Noah. Noah, you were the other guy who donated all the uh, subs. That, that was the other guy, Noah. He, he did all the, he donated all of the other members alongside uh, everybody else. Looks like Brandon and Chris. Yeah, I gotta remember people's names. Okay, will you, uh, when will you realize Kislev is strong? I'm up, dude. Kislev is super strong. I don't know what you mean. Like, every time I do a fucking siege, I'm banging my head against the wall because every single fucking one of their units is a hybrid ranged unit. I like the way that their, their armies control. I love their uh, leadership mechanic with the by, like, by our blood. I love Streltsy, even if they are a little bit weak before you get all of the buffs for them. Like, yeah, I have no problem with Kislev, dude. Kislev are fucking solid. They just need more units. They do have some proper stinko ass units, though. Oh, man. Oh. Who the fuck is connecting? Who the fuck is set on their goddamn... Who's playing this on their fucking laptop in the McDonald's Wi-Fi in fucking Ethiopia right now? Which one of you guys is doing that? I don't know, Thoughts on the French Craven... The French Craven Tail Noblar DLC. What? I can't even pause that sentence, dude. Oh god, when will you- uh, Oh, I already read that. Thoughts on the, um... Oh wait, so turn on idea. You can only take what the- what that Legendary Lord starts with unit-wise. Thoughts? I'd 100% want to see that. A tournament, but you can only take the Legendary Lord and their, their initial starting army. That's not a bad idea. Okay, make sure you're not sweating from your PC being on fucking fire. This is fine. I'm getting 60 FPS right now. Look, I can look at all of this, and if you look in the top left, I'm still at 60 FPS. And I have an ENB running. And we're also running like... Oh, I can't show you. I can't check because we're in multiplayer. But I'm also running like everything on like high, very high or ultra. I have not... I've had zero FPS issues with this game since I upgraded to my new PC. I'm on an Adler Lake. Like kind of uh, unfair that you made him change the, the line original CPU from CA. Doom stack, but then you let him bring Grail Relic away. Blatant favoritism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry, dude. I have a soft spot for the Grail Relic Doom stack. I, I just I had to let him bring it. Ooh, that is satisfying to watch. You know what? It, if it's gonna be slow mo, can we play like dramatic music? What's that? Wait, is that song? That they play in uh, Step Brothers at the end. You know what they're singing at the end of Step Brothers? Uh, fuck. What's the actual name? The classical music track that they sing at the end of Step Brothers? You know the one that they cover? I don't remember the name of it. Oh, wait. And Porti Volare. Wait, is this copyrighted? What? How is this... Oh my god, Andrea Bocet, Bocet, dude, it's fucking copyrighted. That's cringe. Adokoi, how many cost you your new PC? Dude, my, my PC in total, uh, my CPU was free. It was a gift from CA, uh, and it was an i9-12K, 12800K, and it's an absolute fucking beast, and I need to get liquid cooling to run it. Uh, my whole rig with my graphics card and then my... Like my whole, basically my whole rig costs like four grand, and then if the if, if I'd have paid for the CPU, it'd be like four point seven grand. But that's like all my money that that I saved up, like every single penny that I saved up, like I scrounged to be able to afford everything. Like the pro the performance is probably just is probably copyrighted. I don't know. I play Mac tonight music. <laughs> What's Mac tonight? Is that copyrighted? Mac tonight will be a good thing for this. When the clock strikes, have their six, 
There we go. <laughs> Why does this fit so well? <laughs> Why did that fit so strangely well? <laughs> Mac Dan. Oh wait, 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 wait! I have a perfect McDonald's sign to play. Hold on, wait, 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 wait! I don't think this is copyrighted. McDonald's is a place to rock. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I love that fucking song, dude. I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted to fuck. But, dude, if, if this stream gets, like, claimed, I'll probably have to cut out little segments, but... <laughs> I think that okay. I'm getting Play distracted, but I. Uh, to blow up Nurglings too. <laughs> low five. Is that actually a playlist, dude? I just imagine like you know that uh, that famous lo-fi girl with the uh, lo-fi beats to chill and study to or whatever that whole thing that like ten thousand people are watching live at any given time, like that, but a Nurgling version. So it's like a little Nurgling at a desk. Dude, there's so much music I wish I could play, but it's just super copyrighted. And YouTube is a bitch with copyright. Yeah, this is uh, exactly what I was worried about happening, though, is this lag. Pretty painful, unfortunately. Deck Gunners are doing a lot better than I thought they would, though. <laughs> the the ground relics are holding in the pocket. Kicking away. How are these? Jesus Christ, they're still alive. Lo-fi beats to spread plagues with. <laughs> Someone suggests go only for 10 units in 2v2s. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay, I like that idea. Yeah, deal. Let's try that. Just to like take the edge off of people's computers, because I know that for a lot of people, it's because they're lagging, which creates desync. You're like one guy, it just takes one dude running the game at like 20 FPS and then everybody's games are fucked. Like, because this shit never happens when I'm playing with streamers. Like, I, I did a bunch of two uh, head to head campaigns with, um, with, uh, I did uh, some 2v2 head campaigns with Turin, Battlesea, and, uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember his name. He's Turin's buddy. I'm, god damn it. It's so embarrassing. I should, I, or, he's such a nice guy too. But, um, Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Tony Nuts commenting on the fucking We Are Coming Trees thing on all my videos. God damn it. Um, but I never have any issues with these things, any issues with lag. And I think it's simply because they have computers that can run the game and they have streamer PCs and shit. That's gotta be the main... Dude, should we just back out? I think that... Okay, I'm calling this a draw. <laughs> well, I'm not calling this a draw. I'm saying that... These guys won. There you go. Crushing defeat. Uh, the winners are thumb and give me your liver. But... Oh, shit. Wrong way. The lag is just unreal. Uh, let's try hosting it with... Um, if you guys can join back, so be it. Unfortunately, though, the, the lag is just unreal. Uh, let's uh, do 10 units per. See if that helps. Let's do a little bit of um, troubleshooting. If I do that, will it... Oh, man. This is done. Yeah, that battle is pretty much over. Did you have to sell a kidney for the graphics card at Okoi? Uh, yeah, dude, it cost me like 1,500 fucking pounds, which is like two grand, two $2,000. But I got a 3080 Ti and I got it right in the middle of the pandemic, so. All right, Levick managed to get in. Tretch, oh shit, Tretch got in. Longtime supporter and sub. I think he's the longest Patreon sub that I have. 
if it's the same trench. So 10 units per army, guys. O only 10 units. Also, I'll check your armies to see if they're super sweaty and to make sure the, the fight's like somewhat balanced. I want I want a, I want to see a balanced matchup guys where I don't know who's gonna win I want to see a match where like this could go either way, right? I don't quite would I be removed from a 2v2s as well? I really did just get one game. No, no, no. if you just if you join that's it's chill I'm not gonna kick anybody for, for because they've joined too many times. That was only during the 1v1s Hey, okay, what will you say is the best army Kislev could bolster up? Huh 19 patriarchs on bears their, their ability to cycle the vigor uh, reduction and then also Salax Lullaby is uh, basically giving them extremely powerful regen, like a shit ton of times. Extremely strong. And also, they're decent in melee. They have a lot of AoE buffs too, like the uh, Braziers and stuff like that. And when you combine that with um, Kinstelton, they get some serious AoE buffs and uh, AoE damage. You can also get like a Torch. And I can't remember what it's called, but it's a torch that does AoE damage. It just does damage in an AoE over a long period of time. Also extremely strong. I'd honestly say Glaive Ice God. Dude, 19 fucking Patriarchs with uh, Constantin would absolutely clap the cheeks of that army. Oh, also, or maybe Boris with um, 19 bears. Boris with the Bear Boys was a very fucking strong army. With all of his buffs in total, he had 75 uh, and bonus first lodged uh, uh, weapon strength extra damage like he would just tore through large enemies Edokoi is magic allowed now or no? Uh, ooh, no, 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 no magic still no magic fuck magic We got to retain the rules at least a little bit The magic one is to stop people from being able to take OP casters and just ruin entire armies Because then if somebody goes, oh, I'm taking 10 units of gold chevron zombies and ghost, you know, whatever uh, then somebody can't just be like, all right, I'll take one winds of death and they're all gone Or like or I'll use you know winds of death with gorse and just wipe a whole army Adokai is it ten including a lord? No, it's Nine it's nine including a lord Yeah, so this like this Okay, everybody's ready up so we've got Nine units of Necropolis Knights, uh, a half doom stack of Necropolis Knights, half doom stack of Can Wraiths. Interesting. So we got tier two, tier three technically on the Necropolis Knights. So maybe a little bit strong, but let's see if the Overkings of the Worlds have brought something of equal strength. Oh my god! Why did he buff them by the fucking tree, kid? Okay, I was just banning him in the background and 19 years of no okay 10 noblars. Okay, this might be a little bit one-sided. What do you guys think? I think that they're just gonna get smoked like Creases and oh my god Oh Okay, you should enter every match as go you shouldn't wait Hold on you shouldn't enter every match as Gorse and randomly throw Winds of Death at both sides. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty interesting. Like a, a two, v, like a, a one v one, but I, but it's technically a two v two, but I only take Gorse. Oh boy, he did it. Or somehow do that in a free for all. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's a little bit more fair. So. Uh. Malevolent Treekin. Oh, Malevolent Treekin. Damn. Malevolent Treekin with Durthu and uh, Acretus with an army of Noblar Trappers against a bunch of gold tier uh, cannon wraiths and a Strigal Ghoul King. Skeleton chariots that are anti infantry and set for the imperishable. All right, this is much more fair. I think this is a, a much more close fight. Also, I'm going to. Sorry, I'm going to change the map as well because we've had that other map for too long now. All right, here we go. Everybody ready up? I'm back. What Okoye moments did I miss? Uh, I did like a whole backflip and I like fucking I just crushed it, dude. You're so cool. You, you, you missed it all though. Like, like you wouldn't believe, you know, whatever. At Okoye, couldn't you open up more spectators and make that work as a wait list? Nah, dude, because if it, you have to wait for that person to load too and then if they have bad internet, it fucks everything up. 
and then also if they're spectating and they can't view the game without lagging that wait Tretch has fucking terrible internet wait fuck i know Tretch personally i've known this dude for like a year and a half he's been a patron i've done fucking patreon like events with him his internet fucking sucks Tretch, i watch Tretch is gonna be the last one to load i'm, I'm fucking telling you right now fuck the penny just dropped god damn oh, okay well oh, fuck me then okay what ah what What's happening? Okay, this game just loves to prove me wrong. Okay, you got played. Uh, maybe he upgraded his shit. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna look at the ground for a minute while they set up their shit and I'm not ruining it. <laughs> Wait, did they start? Okay, I don't, no, I don't want to ruin it. The map, Plumfow. What's wrong with the map? What is this map? What is this map? How old is this? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, shit, dude. Uh, not the best looking map. Oh, I love dude. This ported over from 3k is so nice I was so happy when I found out they were they were porting like the volumetric map thing over from 3k It was like the most beautiful thing in 3k. Oh shit Okay moment. No, yeah, I know the fucking mini map dude Oh my god, Brandon, I'm gonna time you out don't screw with the fucking spam. Oh shit, okay, Malevolent Tree King coming in. Gonna be met with with a can race, although Malevolent Tree can have magic damage. Oh fuck, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, it's still lagging a little bit. I don't know what it is with 2v2s, they just don't fucking work. God, CA, you gotta fix your netcode or some shit. Yeah. I mean, can wraiths are no pushover, though. I was I was actually thinking of building a can rift doomstack with um, Heinrich Kemmler to see if they're any good. Because he gets a lot of us for them. I think he gets, like, horrible regeneration for them and cool shit like that. Chariots running around the flanks. I don't think they're gonna be much use hitting into the uh, Malevolent Trinket, but maybe they can get into the Noblar Trappers. Also, Noblar Trappers doesn't look like they're being very useful since they're ranging over at Canrifts over the top of Monstrous Infantry. But yeah, the Canrifts are getting absolutely bopped by these Trinket, Malevolent Trinket. If they were regular Trinket, it wouldn't be much of an issue, but these are, they've got magic fists. Top slow motion, yeah. Cause there's too many people from too far locations. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I not necessarily because I I've had like like I said I've done um like I did a two v two campaign stream with essentially no lag at any point uh, against Turin and uh, a friend like uh, a buddy of his and then uh, Battle Sea was on my side. Ba me and Battlesea from the UK, and they they were from the US, and fucking ran like butter, dude. And that's like you know 150 millisecond gap or whatever. I think it's down to the individual person's bad internet. You said Tretch had bad internet. That's probably him. He has like high ping, like high latency, um, and like shitty speed. I think because he lives in like in the middle of nowhere, in like some European country. I'm not gonna <laughs> get dox. Or maybe it's me because I'm streaming. But I don't think that's true. Okay, you mean you're saying you you mean to say we're too poor to play with you? <laughs> you're too poor to, for me to spectate you, apparently. You didn't hear that from me, that hurt you hear that from you. Legendary Lord, Starter Army, Tournament Hype, I don't care, I really hope you do this. Uh, I'd even try to play. I mean, the thing is with tournaments, dude. Is they're they're really rough to um, to set up and organize and make sure everybody knows what they're doing and are doing their brackets and doing their fights and shit. 
the last time I did it, I there was so much like Kuro, my channel artist, you know, girlfriend partner, uh, just like you know, was was doing everything behind the scenes. She was like having to babysit everybody to make sure they did their games. It was like, it was it was so difficult, dude. Like to to be able to stream and be doing it at the same time is like impossible. Like I'm gonna need like, I need to set up the tournament with somebody like a co-host or something. Back to 1v1, please. Yeah, the, the lag's so bad, right? Oh! It sucks as well because, like, look how fucking chaotic and, and beautiful this is. It's better than the, uh, the, the, the full 20 versus 20 versus 20 versus 20, but this is still pretty bad. I don't quite remember that in France the lower class beheads the royalty. <laughs> what the fuck? What relevance does that have? I think you're thinking of maybe like 130 years ago, dude. I don't quite, please let's return to 1v1. Yes, we have a double chance to enter. We'll wait four times as much for each battle. Yeah, these are not very fun to watch. <laughs> we'll do like, um... We'll do like two, two more... Uh, two or three more uh, 1v1s and then we'll wrap it up because it's getting... It's getting hella late, boys. I think this is, we've been streaming for almost four hours now? Five. Four and a half hours so far, god damn. Hot damn. We'll get a couple more in, just cause I love watching these, man. They're so fun. All right. Back to 1v1s. I think maybe if they we can get like people who have guaranteed good internet somehow. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe if we, I, like, I'll think about 2v2s and that kind of shit if, um, Oko left and the game sped up. <laughs> what? Oko, I make a 2v2 co-host, but you command one team on what to do when the other host commands the other. Commanding your generals type of stream. Huh. That's interesting. Like a, like a, <laughs> Like a sh like a a backseat commanders kind of deal. That's an interesting idea. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the stream because you just left and the game works fine. That is really weird. I don't understand because like four people connecting to me. Why doesn't it do it when there's just two people? Because the two the the one v ones are working like perfect every single time. But as soon as it's four people, like the whole thing falls apart. Stream lag would make that very hot. Yeah, like I have fucking solid internet, dude. I have like high, I'm in the top one percent of internet in the UK, or the top uh, five percent or something like that. Oops, it was on default funds. Whatever. All right, let's see what these boys take. Noska versus Durgle sounds like an absolute slog fest. Too much bandwidth? Too much bandwidth? Treekin Trapper 1 at Okoy? Yeah, I know. I can see. <laughs> I can tell immediately when the malevolent Treekin with their magic damage just creamed the shit out of the can race. At Okoy, have you considered doing a Mountain Blade stream against viewers? Dude, oh my god, yes. So, okay. The... Since I, I actually, okay, so not a lot, not a huge amount of people know, but a lot of people probably know. I started this channel making Mountain Blade videos, Mountain Blade Wallman video, uh, Mountain Blade uh, Bannerlord videos, sorry. I was making Bannerlord videos and uploading them to Reddit, and people on Reddit were like, hey, these are great, like, cool, do you have a YouTube or whatever? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then I, I just kept bleeding over, whatever, slowly, and then I developed like a thousand subs that way, and then I, was like, I, I'm, you know, like, there's not that many comedy channels for Total War. I'll just dip into Total War content. But basically, my channel started with uh, Mountain Blade Banner a lot. I fucking love that game. I've been following the development since I played Warband in, like, 2011. Like, the original Warband I had on, on, I had a box, I had it on CD. Like, back in the day, the first, just Mountain Blade, not Mountain Blade Warband, just Mountain Blade, before it became Warband, and was added to Steam. I had the, I had it on disc. Holy shit, okay. Oh my god, oh, wait. Okay, a... Technically, they're silver rank, but a full army of Pock Rises of Nurgle with Kugath again. Oh no, that's an exalted Great Unclean one, versus a full Skinwolf Doom stack that are anti-large. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, this is gonna go one of one ways, but 
there we go but what i was gonna say sub from before Oka was cool <laughs> would you try double stacks half an army half of one unit half is another unit uh maybe that's potentially i don't know thoughts on battle Lost full release um still super underwhelming and undercooked uh it's fine though the campaign is still fine it just it, it, it still needs a lot more work you know what i mean like it just needs a lot more work uh but what i was gonna say is the, the thing that i loved about warband was like i played a shit ton of mountain blade campaigns but the multiplayer when it's modded is super fun so what i wanted to do is create my own private server for mountain blade bannerlord and host huge community live events where we get like everybody watching the stream in and we have like a 50 players aside huge scrap of and, and like organized event pvp and like like uh manually done sieges and shit like that and also like persistent world mod and uh what's there's like a game mode where you and then an entire server of people hold off against waves of npcs total invasion i think total invasion maybe something like that or like a full invasion mod something like that but it basically you play as and you and there's like different skins for it so you can be like lord of the rings characters uh, holding Minas Tirith against like wave after wave of like orcs and shit like mordor and whatever so like and it was just the fucking bomb back in the day and the like imagine that but with like a full server all full of you guys like watching like so we can do organized shit like half of us go infantry half of us go uh, like ranged and we create like a fucking shield wall and shit like do use tactics and stuff or i wanted to do do, do that and also i wanted to just flood like a like a regular public server like if I just launch Bannerlord, we all jump into a public server and just create chaos. Like all create like a huge shield wall and just like <laughs> do stupid shit like that. Would it? Would you guys be down for something like that? If I did something like that, like you know, when private servers are finally available, because I've been wanting to do that for months, like like years, honestly years now. It's been two years since I've had the channel. I think I've I've wanted to do that since I created it. I don't care. You ready for Grail release stack? Did somebody take a Grail, Grail Relic sack? I thought it was just frogs. Ugh. Oh god, I thought that was his cock. I thought that flap was his cock. Oh my god. Dude, my channel flashed before my eyes. Holy shit. Oh. Are they already possible? Uh, they're only giving out private servers to, um... Uh, like people testing and like some content creators I think th there's like very specific people that they're they're testing private servers on right now and uh, some people have them for like mods and stuff like that but um yeah I don't I didn't I don't think they're publicly available to buy yet here come the fucking skin walls surprise everybody froggos Oh, gross. Oh! Damn. Yeah, I mean... Uh... Nah, the skin walls are pulling ahead. They're taking more damage than I thought they were, though. I really thought the skin walls were just gonna take this just right out the gate. Anti-infantry versus... <laughs> no, anti-lodge. I mean... Skin wolves, they got regen and combat, I'm pretty sure. Don't, uh, Pox Riders also have regen? No, but they do have, uh, Cloud of Flies, which gives them 54 melee defense, which is fucking wild. <laughs> Did everybody see that, like, fucking scream? Dude, the frogs are so great. I truly wish that um, the frogs themselves were like actually good and could be balanced because I tried making a pox uh, pox toads like toad doom stack and it's so mid <laughs> like it's so mid you can get almost no buffs for them there's like two in the in the red line tree and one the research tree 
It's so depressing. I wanted to, to make like the, the strongest frog stack ever. And you just can't do it. Ugh. Dude, is this guy's internet from 1914? Oh. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe this is me. <laughs> um. This is happening pretty consistently. I don't call you make me enjoy this game again. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome, my dude. Like, I think that like people get so sour on Warhammer 3 because obviously like there's there's still bugs and the, you know there's you know just some of the stuff that people complain about. Like, I, it's I'm never like it's un it's unvalid, invalid to like you know complain about uh, them fuck it up. But but man, this game has still got a lot to enjoy to it. Like it really does. It's still a good game. Like, plus, for me, there isn't a strategy game on Earth that even fucking is in the same ballpark as Total War in terms of the, of the same amount of content, replayability, and just, like, fun shit you can do. Unless you're counting, like, I guess, like, Baldur's Gate 3, Divinity Sin, Orig D Divinity Original Sin 2, games like that, because they're technically strategy, I guess. But you know what I mean. Top-down RTS, like, this is, like, the best, best you're gonna get. For me, anyway. Dawn of War? Yeah, Dawn of War was good back in the day. Dude, Winter Assault Dawn of War was the absolute shit. Man, it, Nurgle is so tanky. Like, they should have died two hours ago. Oh my god, the, look at the little frog! Oh, the little frog picture is fucking sweet. I don't quite, I can hear the 90s modem connection sounds. I'm getting flashbacks of my PTSD. <laughs> well, World War, Warhammer, World War One. I, I want to see orcs in biplanes. <laughs> oh my god. I can imagine Skaven fitting neatly into that bracket. Have you ever tried a Stonehorn Doomstack? Is it worth it? Uh, uh kind of no. Because I think a much better Doomstack is a Hunter Doomstack. Because eventually Hunters can get on Stonehorns anyway. And then also you have the ranged option. And also they have all of the stat increases from the skill line. So 19 Hunters is about fucking a million times better. Holy shit. Wolfric the Wanderer got his shit kicked in by the Great Unclean One. Oh! Oh my god! I, oh, I forgot there was fucking nerglings in the bell. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's... I don't, I don't know what's, what's happening with this lag, but uh... Very cool, very cool servers. Bell moment. That is a certified bell moment. Kinda sad seeing Wolfrey getting his shit kicked in by like everyone. I don't know what it is, like most of my campaigns lately have just been Wolfrey getting absolutely pile drived. God, they weren't even almond skin wolves. I think regen and frenzy is just too much to fucking deal with. Are you planning on doing another scuffed modding stream? The one from a few months ago was hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me, like, what were my suggestions? Hold on. So, I suggested, uh, a mo yeah, cursed modding stream, a, another spin the wheel, um, but with all factions in randomized thought positions instead of in their normal positions. Wait, do I already randomize them? Or am I just forgetting that I already do that? Yeah, okay, unsurprisingly, the anti-large, the anti-large monsters, uh, army one. Yeah, I'll be either a modding stream or like another spin the wheel stream because like, they're both so fucking fun. 
The only problem with the modding streams is I create a bunch of models and then everyone's like waiting for them to be put in the game and they're so difficult to get working. They're so hard to get working, dude. I don't quite. Is a War Mammoth Doom stack sweaty? All right, I'm going to time that guy out for like three hours. All right, we'll, we'll do one more. See if anybody can counter the Skin Wolf stack. I think that'll be a good wrap up. It's been like four and a half hours, like almost five hours. I think this might be the longest stream I've ever done. Hey, Okoy. I'm new to Warhammer 3. Uh, I got to ask which factions do I go for? Okay, so don't worry about what factions are good. Uh, what people say like is meta. Don't worry about what's like super strong. What like go look through the factions, find what you like and then pick what like you like aesthetically what you like. Do you like ogres? Do you like big dudes? Like 10 foot tall dudes like fucking just steamrolling shit and just fucking mincing people and like tiny little green guys and big artillery and stuff then play ogres. If you like or if you like a full if you like a, a full, like a really nicely formatted regimented like military uh, with like infantry lines and archer lines and shit, play Cathay. Or if you like, you know, dragons and mages and shit. If you like demons and shit, pick one of the demon factions. You know? If you like vodka, then play Kislev. Just like go with what you aesthetically like the look of, and if you don't like their playstyle, then maybe try out some other factions. Yeah, if you have uh, if you have Warhammer one and two as well, then that's way more choice. But like, it's just try out some stuff, man. But like, you want to try out what you like the look of. You know what I mean? Don't worry about meta. Just don't worry about like meta and what's good. Play what you like the look of, and then learn to play them. That's the that, like for fun. That's what you got to do. It's very nice, Okoye, but the answer is actually play Nakari right away. <laughs> Are you trying to get this guy an STD, dude? <laughs> no, like, chill out. Oh, can they not ready up again? Can you guys not ready up again? Is it bugged? Rudder Hall Smart. Uh, it's the winning team, though. Yeah, that's cringe. Damn, that would have been such a good matchup, too. Is it bugged? Yeah, it's bugged. Fuck. Alright, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's been like five hours, dude, so I'm gonna leave it here. Um, but it's been a blast. Uh, <laughs> I, dude, I gotta say, the fucking donos this stream have been, pro like, amongst the best, like, the channel has ever received. 124 new members from one fucking stream. That is insane. Like legendary, yeah, legendary stream, literally. That actually fucking, that's an Okoi moment. That's the real Okoi moment, yeah. It's not even me. It's it's these guys, these selfless homies downloading crazy, crazy dollar news. Good song to outro the stream to, I guess. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope, it w hope you were, were entertained as much as I was watching all these fights. Uh, yeah, next stream will be, I guess, we could try... See, I want to do the, the free-for-all uh, Doomstack stream. Doomstack free-for-alls, right? But I, it's not... It's it's just... I, I know it's going to be bad. Like, this, the, it's going to lag like shit. And it's just going to be a s fucking pain in the ass. And then I'm going to have to, like, bail. So we'll try some other stuff. Like I'll do the uh, like maybe a modding stream next or something like that because I know that works. But I don't expect me to add the stuff into the game because like fuck me, dude. Like I don't know what's going on with the with the textures in Warhammer Three, but porting models in is so difficult. Yeah, thanks for all the donos. Thanks for the fucking support. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next stream and I'll get some videos Towers out, dude. Lord. Towers, my lord. Towers, <laughs> my god damn it. Thanks for the dono, do, uh, Dr. Logan, PhD. God, a fucking doctor in here? No way.